Yo, what's up, guys? I am Thomas, Dope as Yola, whatever you want to call me. Welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. I'm with my co host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? We're going to hop right into it because we already started, all right? It happens like that every time I know the conversation is about to get fun. Guys, this is the Lou Ratchet episode. Thank you for being here. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you for being here, all the way from Pittsburgh. Well, you moved. I did move. I did move. And then I kind of moved back. I'm not in Pittsburgh, but I'm very close to Pittsburgh right now. Gotcha. I'm in Ohio. But I've never been. I don't know. You ain't really missing too much. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio. What's the national fun over there? The I mean, the state what? fun. The state fun over there. What's the thing that Ohio has? The fuck does Ohio have? Uh, Cedar Point. <laughs> no, that, I, I, that, that's about it. That's about it. And a they, place to stay. Oh no, but hold on, hold on. No, they got a. Uh, they got the Cincinnati Bengals, the Cleveland Browns. Oh, um, the Buckeyes. Dayton, Cleveland, Shit like okay. That. Sports, okay. sports, I would sports. say. Yeah. Middle of America fun. Mm-hmm. The faculty kind of fun. Hella you Bibles. Go. You got some a lot of cornfields, I'd imagine. Bibles, like cornfields, a lot of boy. A lot of that, mm-hmm. I would imagine. I will say, man, I fucks with LA, bro. I, it's cool. And I, and I, I want to say this without like offending anybody from LA. I just feel like y'all are privileged, bro. Like, yeah. and I mean that in the best way. It's Overly like, really privileged, bro. Y'all got hella everything. resources, access to everything, bro. It's, it's crazy. It's the cool level. It's crazy, yeah. Yeah, like, oh, you want to go do anything? Oh, all right. <laughs> you could do hella anything beaches, in the world, like, man. There's nothing you can't LA do except fun. have a gun. That's pretty much it. You can have a gun. I'm just kidding, but it's oh, just it's just real lame out here. <laughs> it's real lame out it's here. But yeah. speaking of guns. We talked about this before we even started. I have to get into it. You said you like Michael Myers. I do. I love Mike. Oh. I love Mike. Hell yeah. So when I said that, you were like, I never thought of that. <laughs> Just chop him in pieces. Yeah. But I mean, I don't get why nobody did that, but it would make the movie too easy. Like, if you just, like, straight up, all right, let's just chop his arms off, chop this off, shit this to Minnesota, yes. shit that to Colorado. But then movie's over after, like, Eat 10 an minutes. arm. Something. Eating? Why you want to eat him, bro? Send it. As, are, are you just gonna put it back? I, I, I got it. He ain't gonna put it back <laughs> after that. <laughs> we getting cannibalistic on Mike, but I'm, I'm cool. With but it. for real though, like think about it. On part one, they're like, "Hey, we're gonna get 35 years out of this one, all right?" Because they're like, "Yo, he's unstoppable," yeah. and you don't know his face, but he's six eight, can't talk. Did anybody ever fight him back, or he's just like, oh, Freddie? They threw Wait, that's oh, Michael no, Myers. That's, that's Jason. Jason. That was Jason. Sorry, that's Jason. They Sorry. did, bro. They shot him in one of the movies, but he ain't do nothing. He just fell out the window and, and basically oh, got back up. He on PCP. Mm-hmm. That's what we messed. <laughs> Every beginning, he's hitting the little in a little pookie, right. and he's he's hulking out on the town. Because mm-hmm. how do you get shot that many times and be be okay? And then we said, put him in prison, bro. He would run the prison. He would. He will imagine imagine Mike's runner. Like it's like a, a he's, little young nigga he got that like you he just order people without mm-hmm. even speaking. Yeah, he's just like signing shit like that. Yeah, that would be crazy. That's a whole TV series. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I guess Mike Myers. <laughs> you know, also Michael Myers, name is Mike Myers, one funny, one scary. Always confused me as a kid, man. Yeah. Big contrast between Austin yeah. Powers. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, for sure, for Austin sure. Austin Powers was that dude too. That was that dude, man. I always wanted the, uh, that costume for Halloween. I always oh, wanted to dress up as bro for Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> that shit was hard. Um, I was a kid. Though. You should be Fat Bastard. I'm like, shut up. Oh. Damn it! I wanted to be Doctor Evil. You bro, I didn't know. I didn't know Fat Bastard was him until I got older. Really? I really didn't. That's how nice he is at like changing his right. character. Okay. And shit Do you like realize that? how much Fat Bastard sounds just like Shrek? It's the same voice. Look at his face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good shit. He was like, yo, let me just repurpose this shit for kids. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I'm down. Um, this oh, legendary. Very, very off topic. That okay. was very sidetracked. You're from, you're from Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. I have homies out there. I have a lot of homies out there randomly. Right. That's popular. You, I tell him all the time, like, what do you guys do? Like, there's no, there's no, like, New York's got this. Miami, you do this. Pittsburgh, it's just like, it's cold. I want to say, Pittsburgh get a lot of flack for that because anytime I tell somebody from Mm -hmm. like one of these quote unquote privileged areas, it's like, you always get that like, what do y'all do? But it's like, it's basically, we we got the necessities, but to a much smaller scale. No beaches, obviously. Uh, 
I get it. I don't know, bro. It's, ta- the like, city has progressed a lot since I was younger, though. I will say that, bro. When we was younger, I felt like, yeah, we was just just a shitty city. You know what I'm saying? So steel. now, now we done had Batman. One of the Batmans was filmed there and shit. It's like oh, the that's city. Right. Then you know what I mean it's you got some we, Super we Bowls, trying. right? We trying. Yeah. You guys have a questionable Hall of Fame quarterback. Oh. Oh, what you mean questionable? Questionable. You, you're not talking about Ben, right? Oh, I'm talking that about That nigga ben. is Jesus, bro. I don't want to Oh, no, hear he's the best, no, one of the best no, quarterback. No, I'm no, talking no, about no. off the field. He's got pools playing linebacker for him <laughs> <laughs> at nightclubs with the just. Let's go. But, bro, was that ever, like, proven? But if somebody says it about you seven times, I'm like, hey, man, you might be a thief. So, wait, he had Seven of my homies said you stealing. There was more than one allegation, is what you're telling me. From what I saw, it was like, it was like three. Damn, Ben. Damn! He's still my man's though. He's Goated. awesome. Goated. It's not proven. It's not proven. But but like if if you I'm like Marty goes to the bathroom I'm like hey man for my like five my homie say he steals shit you should put uh-huh. it in your wallet away you're gonna be like oh he might be stealing shit five people mm. like oh Ben aren't you married bitch <laughs> Jesus Christ anyway I'm sorry to I'm not it. listening to that what about bro? Cordell Stewart did y'all ever hear there was a rumor that Cordell was like gay but he wasn't really gay it was made up. I have no idea. I just know he was a great quarterback. Oh, never mind. There was a whole rumor <laughs> in Pittsburgh. Like, when I was a kid and shit, everybody used to be like, he's this, he's that. And it's just like, bro, bro they just made that. it up to just taint. They was just trying to fuck with him. I don't know why, because he was the black quarterback of Pittsburgh. Like, he was pre-Michael uh, Vick. They said he was doing weird shit. That was the that was the, uh, the, the the shit. I think they, was, they kept trying to say he was doing weird shit, locker room shit. And it's just like... But it's not true at all. All right, I didn't know that. Cordell Stewart was the man. That's all I know from Pittsburgh is football, and there and then there's not much Shout else. Shout out Cordell, man. Shout out Cordell for being one of the pioneers, one of the first popping uh, black quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we had Chevy Woods on here, and he went, ah, "There's not much, you know. It's, it's a city." I fuck with Chevy. Yeah, so not, I, I get it. Like, I'm asking just because one day I might go. I'm probably not gonna do anything. I'm probably gonna smoke dabs in my hotel and be like, "Damn, it's cold," and that's like my Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't do much, but I just like to ask because people from different parts. One thing I'll tell you to do when you go to, if you go to Pittsburgh. I will. I will. Just go to Hoax Fish and Chicken. That's about it. Get you some chicken and shit. They put the crack on it. They put the dust on it. How do you mean? Fuck. What else, dude? What else, man? What else do you do? Nah, I'm just messing. My homies, my homies live out there. They tell me all the same. There's a, there's a pop it ass sandwich spot, he said, like the whole city goes to out there. For Manny's. That's cool and all, but that's like, who Main told street. you that? I bet. And no offense, I bet it was a a, 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 white a person, person of Caucasian descent. Yeah, yeah no, nah, yeah, so it's, it's kind of like Boyd. that's like, yeah, that's their shit. And, and don't get me wrong, the whole city fuck with it, but it's like, bro, our shit is like yeah, just, that. Hooks is hitting, man. And hooks ain't just in Pittsburgh. It's probably in, it's in Ohio and shit like that. But hooks is is popping. All right. So on on a little <laughs> Pittsburgh. Topic Pennsylvania. I'm gonna ask you a few things, new names or places, or whatever it is. Just tell me the first thing that Nash. comes to your head. Let's get it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Cushion orange juice. What does that remind you of when you hear that word, or you hear that? High school. Right. High school. What you was in high school too around that time? No, I was just graduating high school. Good shit, good shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, high school. That's a perfect answer. What was his come up like? Like, was it? Did you kind of know about Wiz before he really blew up, or was I it fast? I did. I did. Uh, I knew somebody who knew him personally, and now I think he's still connected with him. I don't want to put his government out there, and I don't know what niggas call him today, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So I knew him, and he was always telling me about him. So he like, yeah, this nigga uh, Wiz da 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 coming up with Kev the Hustler and all this shit, and he like these my boys, whatever. So it's like I kind of had an out on him. But I didn't see that bro was about to yeah. reach the worldwide part. But it's like, did I know the nigga? Hell no. And when he no. blew up the whole black and yellow, that had to feel crazy. Yeah. Like it was an anthem for yeah. Pittsburgh. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Freshman Hell college year. That's what. Yeah. Still One day. of the most iconic singles of all time, damn near. For sure. Shit. I mean, even I knew, I don't even listen to the radio back then. And I was like, oh, I hear this song 50 times a day somewhere. Mm-hmm. Of course. Shit. Of course. All right. So, Cushion Orange Juice. Next, DJ Academics. Not Pittsburgh at all. I just threw it out there. Man, bro, try to act like he ain't know who I was. Bro. Oh, damn. He is. So, no. Nah, so, I'm going to just say fuck academics. And it's not even, I don't know the nigga, but it's just like, 
I seen some shit. He was reacting to some of my shit. And it's just like that's. I've never really watched him. I just seen him <laughs> get in trouble on other people's platforms. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't okay. expect that one. Okay, all right, all right. So uh, Terry Bradshaw, fire. Let's go. Hey, wait, 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 wait. He might. Nice. I, this is. I'm speaking out of my ass right now. He might be racist because he looked like one of them old school white dudes. But I fucks with it though. Like it's certain levels of like if he's real about it, I fucks with it. <laughs> so I respect real racists. Like if you're actually like you stand on that shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. Yeah, so, no, yeah. you fit perfect, bro. This <laughs> is a perfect, you're a perfect guest for this for this show. Yeah, but he might be racist. Is my follow up all the time? I think he might be racist. Yeah, but it's like, but like if he's if nice about come, it, and even then, if you came from that era and you racist, it's like, are you funny? As racist? long as you tolerate us, I'm cool. Yeah, if you're intolerant of me, but, but you can I make fun of me. To, I don't need you to have a gang of black friends as a white person. It's like. No, I mean, if that's what you want to do, cool. But I don't judge you if you don't. I, that was, that's fair. That's perfect. Shout out to the racist. Man. Shout out to the racist and Terry Bradshaw. I hope you're, I hope you're nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to be like, damn, is that what people really think of me? I'm shaving this Hulk Hogan hair. I'm like, yeah, bro, you got to get rid of that shit. You're like a biker. <laughs> okay. All right. That was good. Since you do skits and you, this is what you do. Hell yeah. Drewski. Comedian guy. Businessman. I know nothing about him, so I'm not That's what I'm going to say. Just because it takes, like, somebody in my position, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm doing, we're doing the same shit, but to see how he Leveraged monetizes it. and capitalizes off of it, it's like, oh, shit. That's a bad motherfucker. How? I, I don't know anything. I just see, like, mean? I just scroll and I see him in skit. I don't, uh, I know nothing about him. What, what, what is he doing different? What do you mean? I'm just saying, like, his face is everywhere. He's getting, he's linking with big niggas. He's linking, you know what I'm saying? He's everywhere. He on commercials. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, okay. When the, when the NBA games is on, it'll cut to the, you know what I'm saying? He oh, I just no in the idea. mix that's with dope. it. So it's like, yeah, that's hella respect. Shout out, bro. Oh, cool. I had yeah. no I had no idea. I yeah. just see him in uh, making fun of that Jack Harlow guy together, and that's the only thing I ever seen about him. Oh, no. He, no he's he's funny. Is I just, okay, I'll Massive. watch I'll watch it. I just know he's hella popping. I'm like, that's what I'm he's saying. He's a yeah. he's a comedian, I guess. Like you know me. Yeah. We you don't can, know shit. You're like, I know he's super famous, but I don't really From know why what it is. like what's behind what it. <laughs> okay. Last one has nothing to do with it. I just want to get your opinion. It's twenty twenty four in summertime. Okay. Drake. Right now. Not My five months ago. opinion, bro. And I'm sorry. I'm not following the goddamn bandwagon. I never really fucked with Drake. That's just like I'm saying his music. I don't know yeah. nigga as a person. But his music is just like, bro, he's not making that for me, to be honest. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Like, And that's why I, I will say, and, and, and even as far as the Kendrick beef and shit like that. She was funny. I get where he was coming from. That's all I can say. It's like, I was never a huge Kendrick fan either. It's like, mm -hmm. I listen to more. I'm going to just say it, Frank. Like, it's like, I need my shit a little bit more like dumbed down. Not saying I'm a dumb person, but I just like to. I try to get intellectual when I'm listening yeah, to rap. I like my shit. I can't even say it. I Ooh. can't even say it. <laughs> Niggerish. You might have to cut that out, but I You're really fine. do. It's like stank it up for me, but it's like stank it up. Yeah, for like, me. but Kendrick though, I like. I like what he did, man. I like what he did, and I understand what he's saying about like. He's just a poet. I feel like was he mad. was kind of basically calling him out as like a culture vulture, and it's just like, like I don't know this nigga personally, but I see what he what he meant in certain yeah. in certain lights. It's valid. There's validation in most of your things from this side. But, but what if you see from the other side? But I do see from the other side. Yeah, I'm exactly. never. I don't take sides. And I don't know these people personally. Mm -hmm. So when if I was in Drake's camp, it's more so like, wait a minute, this nigga. Talking hella shit, but how many other quote unquote culture vultures, white people did y'all let him rap and you only worried about me? Biggest is that, target. Is that envy? You get what I'm saying? Is that because I'm at the top? So it's just like, yes, that could have been his standpoint. Yeah, so it's yeah, like, yeah. I, I get If he was sad. five notches down, nobody would nobody would have attacked him or cared. Like you just said, Jack Harlow. Why didn't you say nothing? You ain't say nothing, nothing to do. I think because he's too, I think he might be too new. Drake's been here for tw almost 20 damn years. They've been kind of going You're back right. and forth for like right. years You're too, right. like You're poking right. him and shit, I think. I, yeah, I just wanted, it's like you said, I don't know these, I don't know these Do fools. you consider that like, <laughs> was Kendrick's like track some of the most brutal diss tracks in hip hop history, would you say? Like thorough, 
just brutal bars, like really tearing a man it was apart. Verbal molestation. I like it, bro. It's one of my favorite. Euphoria is one of my favorite disses ever. I like that one better. That shit mm-hmm. fire. Yeah. Fire. Not like us. It's like it's cool. When I first heard it, I fucked with it, but you already knew from the vibe, just like, yeah, this is the club banger right here. Mm-hmm. But Euphoria, bro, just changing the tempo and he played like he rapped on like three different songs and one. I fucks with it. Super creative. All right. And that'll be the last time we ever talk about this beef again because it has there been pushed go. into the ground. There you go. I just wanted to there ask no, from you. another side, like Drake, <laughs> from your side of this, it's different, man. Just different opinions. Right. All right, that was it for the first thing you think of. All right, first thing you think, the first thing that comes to your head. Um, also, I know you smoke weed. I don't know if you still smoke weed. I do. I do. You said it sadly. Uh-huh. No, I do. Oh, okay. It's like I ain't blaze right now because honestly, if I was blaze, I probably can't answer most of your questions. Oh, really? I just get a little stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's just, but Put I'm, some stank on it. Yeah. <laughs> do you mind if I smoked in here? Or do you rather not be around hot box? Oh, I fucks with it. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. cool. So uh, Pennsylvania's got legal weed right now. Ohio, not so much, right? Or it does? It's opposite, bro. So, believe it or not, Ohio just passed it for recreational. PA only got medicinal. Oh, really? So, yeah, Ohio, they about to start opening up dispensaries within the next week. Literally, bro. Like, literally, yeah. Let's go. Yo, I just love seeing How long do y'all think it's going to take for it to become, like, national? Five more years. 2030. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I think people still need to make... These politicians still need to make their money on the illegal side for before it goes fully, fully Wait, like. Wait, when you say from the illegal side, are you saying it's illegal right now in California? It's not federally yeah, legal. How, how are you profiting off of that? Are you saying the Oh, but hey, I own six of these licenses. Do you want to use my license? I need forty five percent of your profits a month. Cool, and then I'm gonna lobby against this. So it costs you a little more. And in the actuality, this company that put in 30 years, it's only taking home 15% of the profits and they're going to go, hey, we need to cash out and sell this or we're going to just tank. And they go, don't worry, man, we'll buy it from you. And they go, cool, but 10% or uh, the only stipulation is you're still the face of it. So the whole weed community is like, wow, this guy has been doing it for 30 years. He's getting 5% of his own company, but 5% of a billion dollars. He ain't saying shit. And then the billion, and then the big company goes, damn, we made $995 million off this idiot. We're not allowed to win. We're just allowed to like, like play along. We're not like, we're not the Terry Bradshaws. You might, you know what I mean? Like he might be racist. Like it's not about racism, but it's about money. And I think it's like, we have the most of it and it doesn't matter who you are. And I think, yeah, you know how many politicians are making money right now off of, this being legal but not illegal, but legal and not illegal, and like yo, kick me fifty k and I'll I'll vote my vote for Ohio for it to pass. What the fuck? I mean, right now, wouldn't you do that shit? Yeah. If you were a politician, be like yo, yeah. I'll take two fifty. I'll, I'll I'll vote for you. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do that shit. Like yeah, I'll, t- I'll I'm corrupt as shit. This sounds like a something you make a video about. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Go back that in history and start yeah. doing all that shit. That sounds great. <laughs> it's gotta start yeah. from the 1700s. Like how can we win forever? Well, this hemp thing will make it illegal for a long time, even though it's better for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's how I think. I could be fucking wrong. All right. Would you think, do you think the world would be a better place if all drugs was decriminalized? Like if you could legally smoke crack in front of a cop? I think drugs would eventually, after a generation or two, start to phase out. Because people be like, dude, everyone I know is on crack. Uh, everyone I know is dead. Right. I, I don't want to touch that shit. And I think after about two generations, I know people are like, they didn't help me now. Well, that's because it's not legal for when your mom's hiding it. Like, If your mom was down and she was like, yo, me and your cousins are going to get high off Chris all day. I, I'm, a, I'm an orphan because you guys are going to die. Right. And then I think that just slowly subsides and goes away to people going, yeah, that everyone's dying. Everyone, there's a pandemic mm-hmm. of hundreds of thousands of people dying every day. I think people would stop smoking crack. I think that's or the crackheads would just die. And I think new- it should be that way. Not that niggas should die. I'm just saying. I think it should be. <laughs> I think it should be a- to where it's like we focus more on what is it called, like rehabilitation instead of punishment for for specifically drugs. For it's like, come on. for sure, every most thieves 
is because they're on drugs and they need some more of it. Mm -hmm. Most yeah, fools, robbing fools, are like, yo, I have no lean. I'm strung out. I don't have this. I'll kick my homies door in. I'm all yeah, it happens yeah, that fast. Yeah, when yeah. you hurt somebody or rob somebody, that's when you should be getting arrested. Yes. And, but it's like, up until that point, they really don't care because it's like, then you look at, you got Skid Row, just open air market in LA. You got Kensington, Kensington Philadelphia. Crazy. You got all these places where it's like, they actually don't care. Bro, why do y'all state not care about the homeless? <laughs> it's, I think what it is, like, oh, y'all don't do shit about it. It's just you like... Ready? It's just all good. I think they want California to look like a shithole and look bad. And people start leaving and the government's like, yo, let's buy up all these, all this housing, all these buildings, all everything. Make it a paradise again. Come back. I'll sell you your house you sold to me at 500 for 900. Come back. It's just like, because these niggas are infiltrating uh, every area. And it's like... I would do that shit. Even the nice parts. It's, it's, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Especially the nice like, parts. Like, y'all can't have, like, nothing that looks, like, perfect. Because right across the street is the it's RV true. with the three tents and <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> you've been out here for how long? You already know what's up. That's exactly how this country, or how this state works. But um, I did see somebody the other day. I, I do want to give a shout out to whatever homeless motherfucker that was in that empty lot. This was the biggest fucking like homeless encampment I've seen, but it might be one nigga's spot. It was like a homeless mansion. It was like the it, like a bunch of tents put together. So bed? whoever did that, you you an innovator, and that shit was fast. Did you see it inside? <laughs> no, I didn't. Right here by the I talked about Fort by the Staples Center. There's a guy with a store. Yeah, a homeless guy. He built a store and an apartment. Like he's got a tent under a bridge. It's got a bed, a bed frame, a headboard, a footboard. What my man selling. He had uh, like canned foods, shaving stuff, like like a Concert. store, like a bodega against a bridge with little shelves he made. Stuff. He's selling it all day. He's got a TV. I saw a hot tub. Remember, there's no water in the bitch, but I saw a hot tub. And fool's just living in that he's bitch. He's hustling. Okay, like, okay. He, he's like, he must be like the spot when you want to chill when you're homeless and cracked out. Like, yo, let's go to Mar Marcus's house. That's actually fair. Oh, yeah. He must get all <laughs> the bitches out there. That's like, bad. don't worry, girl. That's I got shit. food and a place to stay. And TV. It's not that hard to hook up a tent situation where you're just sitting there all day, right? I, I think about the responsibility level of a homeless person. I go, damn, I wish I could just be like that for like five days. Like no bills. No bills. Just walk around and fall asleep. Fuck, man. And not worry about getting stabbed when you're sleeping. Right. I'm with but, it. I'm with but it. it's a constant job to stay eating, to stay. That survival is your job. Oh, want five days of I just want I just want five hours a day of like yo can I act homeless today in my own house just like not do nothing just lay under trees and shit uh -huh. ask people for fucking change like bitch can you buy me Jamba Juice I'm with it that would be nice that would be nice all right oh, yeah. let's get on to this ready you started your Twitch up yeah yeah the, as a, I make hella content on the other side of this I do all, all hella weed content on YouTube right okay so I've been doing it for like ten years now. How much easier is it to stream than make videos? Oh, different look at bro, it. Bro, 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 bro. What do you mean easy? What do you mean easy? There's I no, see I see this a lot, and I'm on the side of the niggas that be saying it's not streaming. It's not as easy as niggas make it No, same. easier than making videos. Whoa. I would How, imagine it's not even close. I would imagine 10 to 1. It's, it's, it's crazy, bro. Cause I'm just thinking there's no editing. There's no different angles. So I don't got to sit up. I don't got to edit that bitch in between. I don't got to think of, oh, yeah, cohesiveness. I was looking up here. The camera needs to be there. That it's bitch just is stationary. The, but hold on. The freedom of making videos. It's just, bro, it's, it's, it's comparing apples to oranges. That's the best way I would put it. Because the, the freedom of me making videos, I don't have to, like, lock in. And, and this is all going to take out a time slot of, let's say the stream is 10 hours. Because right? sometimes I go crazy with it. So it's like. You doing eight hours, whatever the fuck. It's like, bro, throughout, if I'm filming a vid, I could take this amount of time, smoke, chill, go get something to eat, oh. keep going with the vid. It's just like super free. Okay, like, that's yeah, I, I got a lot of freedom basically with the vids oh, wow. and shit to where it's I wouldn't outlook. say it's difficult. Like, Okay, see mine, I'm like eight hour shoot days, two hour stream okay. if that. Okay, I'm okay. I'm flipped completely opposite. Your videos right. are a lot right. longer than his. It's long as shit. Right. So... That wait, must oh, be but badass. When you say you do a lot of weed content, like what exactly, what, what exactly uh, does that entail? Um, like uh, two days ago, I smoked a vape cart until it was gone, like a rosin pen, and then like, um, I, t I tell a lot of stories and shit, 
I tell a lot of stories, do a lot of tutorials, reviews, a lot vlogs. of reviews, uh, 100 gram joint with my homies, shit like that. Like, what? What the fuck? Challenges. 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 Uh, I tell a lot of stories, bro. So I have a lot of, like, I, that's what I do. I tell what stories. What you rolled a 100 gram joint with? Am I, you mean of, of the weed? Like, what do you put it in? What do you roll that in? The raw papers, the paper. raw papers. I put a bunch of them together. 12 inches oh, together. so it really takes like skill then. So you, okay. Yeah, like a sheet. Okay. It's art. I thought y'all <laughs> niggas had like a specific joint. Like, oh, you can just oh, buy no, from Amazon. No, like no you got to make it. Like, oh, you got to make that shit, dude. Um, yeah, that's what I do on that side. So that's different. Like, how many hours is going to take you to smoke two ounces? Probably five hours. Okay. So that's why I'm like, oh, man, making videos takes all. It's just different. I didn't think about it in that way because you're making short, shorter content. Right, right. And then right. you're streaming for 10 hours, which I'm not doing. No, nah, because my shit will be game and reactions, this, that. You're and chilling it's just throughout like, the day. Yeah, just chilling, yeah. But it's like, even other, I don't know, bro. I don't want to say streaming is easy because I, I know that like when, even as, as the higher them niggas go, like it's like on the level of like the AMP niggas and shit like that. What's that? My bad, like Kai, what, what's his name? I Kai's know that is. That, uh, them streamers, niggas. Yeah, streamers, yeah, yeah. So it's like that type of shit, like, bro, that's that's a, them niggas working full time doing. Those those guys are different. That's that full production. That's it's my their point. video yeah, and yeah, their yeah. stream is one thing. Like all the production, all the overhead, all the thinking, all the planning, the segments you would do for a video, they're putting in the live. Right, right. So like that is their whole day. You're right, you're right. For you, I, I didn't realize like, damn, you can just. I'm gonna film a clip. I'm gonna go smoke. I'm gonna get something to eat. <laughs> I would never be able to do that because, like, smoking is my video. I'm like, I'm gonna smoke in between my smoke. Right, okay, right, yeah, I do. Right, I do right. do that, but like, all right, different perspective. Mm -hmm. So, how long you been doing Twitch? See, so I started like two years ago, but then I I wasn't really like consistent with it. I took off for. I don't even know. Damn near like a year. Then I popped back on and got way more consistent with it. So okay. it's like I've been on for consistent at least for about a year. Okay. Where, uh, where can everybody find it? What's just Lou Ratchet? Lou underscore Ratchet. All right. On Twitch. Hell yeah. Twitch is cool, man. I, I, I'm i just not good with streaming, man. I'm not I'm not tech savvy. So it's a little hard for me still. Okay. But no, that's cool. I just wanted to see um the other side of Twitch. I feel like streaming, especially this age demographic you're in. It's massive, dude. It's big. It's it's big as when YouTubers were big. I feel like we in the same demographic, my nigga. Oh, I'm talking about age wise. I'm, I'm five saying. five years older. I that's why I, like I was just saying like five years. That ain't yeah. shit. But no, I get but you. I'm talking about when it comes to streaming. I know nothing about streaming. Like right, you, right, right. you probably do. I mean, you do stream. Oh, I feel like, believe it or not, I be feeling like an outsider in the streaming world. It's like I get it. I like tech shit. That, but that's pretty much like <laughs> the, end of the it. only side I be getting. It's like the other shit. It's like, man, what you young niggas be wanting to do? What y'all want? To so it's oh. just like I'm kind of yeah. I don't know. Okay, but so I fucks with the tech side of everything. Like the do you find on all right? I'm socially awkward as shit too. I oh, saw me you. Too, I, I am and I'm not. Like if I know I'm going to a place where there's people there that are fans. Like I know that we're like minded people. We're all gonna have fun. I don't have a problem talking to you. Right. Take me to a party and we go, can we fucking leave this party now? <laughs> we just got here. Can we go? That's yeah, me. Like, I don't want to talk to you unless you talk to me first. You might be awesome. I'll talk to you. I'm never going to initiate no conversation, bro. I'll just be by myself for the rest of my life. Same. same okay. Here, so this is the, all chilling. three of us are the same. I'll be chilling. Yeah. Okay. So do you find that you get the social awkwardness when you're on Twitch or is it go away because you know it's your fans? It goes away because it's my people's. It, it's mm -hmm. my people's. That is, and that's my favorite part of streaming. It's like, bro, that is one thing that I, I think all streamers would agree on. It's like, bro, when you build that community, that shit's cool as hell. Because mm -hmm. it really be feeling like family vibes. Yep. It's just like, you start knowing motherfuckers in the chat. It's just like, oh, something, something, something. How was your job interview? Yes, you know exactly. What I'm Little shit like that. that. That's what it's about. That's that's my favorite thing about streaming. Like, all right, see? That, 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 that's for me too, it goes away. Like, I'm fine. I'll be on the stream. Like, yeah, what's up? How you doing? At the store, like, yo, I know you cut me, but, like, it's I'm next. Like, I ain't going to say shit. I'm just doing my thing. So, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because I saw you. Uh, I deal with this shit. Too. Like, I've been doing YouTube for 11 years now. Um, oh, that's tough. The burnout shit you were talking that's about, tough. I Hell saw. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I get it. it it's, uh, tell me if, if, if you can relate to this. Like, uh, 
I saw you saying, hey, you used to wake up. The first thing I wake up is like, I got four ideas. How can I knock them out with before five o'clock and make these fools laugh their asses off? That was my whole goal every morning. Yeah. I used to make skits yeah. with toys and nugs, like scenes. That's what my thing I would do for two years straight, like full movie scenes and shit. Stupid shit that you sh nobody should do. I'd like to see that, but I, I, I got, got you. Okay. I got you, dude. Like, I would get little buses from Forrest Gump, how it roll in with my camera, my little phone, have my little nug guy with his briefcase on a bench. And put the little feather coming in with the music. Oh, I respect that. Fun That's shit, interesting right? Shit, yeah. Like uh, Robot Chicken. Right, with weed. right, 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 right. That's how I used Amazing. to call my page, okay. yeah. Okay. So when it comes to that, that never burned me out because it's so fun. I love movies. I I'm love movies. I love all that shit. Then I started doing skits when I started doing Instagram. It was super fun. I started doing YouTube videos. And then one day I woke up and went, I have five videos to do. I wish I can click the whole process <laughs> and just go through the, and not have to do it right now and just be done. Cause I know it's gonna be six hours of this shit, which is fine, but it started to be not as fun anymore. And I get it's your job. But once I started saying, that's what I do for work. And I'm like, now it's a fucking job. That was the point. I, yeah, so I <sighs> get what you're saying, bro. That was always my thing is like coming into the game. It wasn't, it's not a job. Like it's not, this is my passion. They like, I like, Making people laugh. I like shooting these vids and coming up with creative ideas of, of trying to convey this message or do that. So it's like that was all good. But after a while, I can't even explain like what was like the, the breaking switch. point. Like, yeah, Neither. where it was just like I just got I guess it is burnout. And it's just like I kind of felt like it was when I started making money finally at it. And I went, oh. you're right, you're right, you're right. Even you're though right. it's supposed to be the opposite. You're like, right. yeah, I made money, but I'm also like, Because another Fuck. issue was like, okay, I'm like going up, up, up. But then it's like, Where's the, the niggas was like in the raw shit that I started off making. So it's like, you know, and rappers or whatever, entertainers always go through that. Like, hey, you ain't making the shit you used to make. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay. It was kind of hard to do that while also worrying about the money side of things. And so production. it's just like, what would you say? So and production, like I want this to look better. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And even that, sometimes that I'll be more focused on that. It takes away from the comedy because I'm too worried mm -hmm. about trying to be get some high quality shit. So all of that, and it just. Can we talk about? The, I've been a fan of your channel for a long is. time, so the actual production of the videos because they is. seem so simple, but they're all super cohesive. They're all POV. They all look like they're shot with the same GoPro or whatever, like all in super wide angle. I love how like you get all up on the camera and it gets all distorted and shit. And, like the same look, the same POV look is in every video, even though every video is different. Yeah. yeah. You got the really fast videos that in my mind, I would think you could probably freestyle. I'm you're imagining you're kind of improv a lot of the Hell shorter yeah. ones. Hell yeah. What about the ones where you're going back and, doing like history lessons the history ones bro so a lot of those i do gotta do actual research it's like it'll be concepts that i already kind of you know what i mean I, I i've studied throughout my life and shit but it's like you do gotta brush up and try to just think about like what would this scene have looked right here or like what you drop so many easter just, eggs just and shit like, like that just specific facts yeah, just trying to be uh historically accurate i would mm. say and trying to figure out okay what would this person have been wearing? What would that? So that should be cool to me. And I never knew I liked history until I started doing skits. See, that's that's straight just directing the whole. I feel you. It's there's the process is fun when it's not a job. But see that right now, if I asked you to do that for a company and they were like, yo, you want to do this and made this message but like this shit's fucking kind of boring. Yeah. But can I do it for no money and not pay my rent and struggle? That's when I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that like. I'm Bro, so I glad you break. agree. I took, <laughs> I took about six months off, I think, from, no from videos shooting whatsoever? skits. No, I mean, I still had some that I had already shot. So I kind of oh. like just dropped them like loosely. But it's mm, like, bro, I stopped creating. shooting skits for about six months. And then it was like, I would say for like the last two of those six months, I just kept just thinking of skits. And it's just like, yo, I want to get back to doing that shit. And then I missed it. So now I'm right back to having fun with this shit. Did it's you move like, to Ohio? Was that like recent? Did that impact your video making? Did it impact it? Because most of your videos are like deep in the fucking hood and the trenches and shit in Pittsburgh. That's I would imagine if you shit. moved to and Ohio. And I'm not saying, like, wait, and I want to clarify that. It's just like, I like when places got like some soul to it, like mm -hmm. culture. You could just see like the history. That's what made Wallow shit blow up when he first came out. He right, was doing it right, like that. Right, right, right. Doing all that, yeah, just in the hood, in the trenches. So 
I fucks with it. It's art, bro. It's urban art. So Cinematic. I always like picking my settings and shit like that. That's that's also a cool part of the process. Cause it's like this is shit to where Yeah, you could literally hang it up as a painting for me. It's, mm-hmm. it's urban art. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so to the skits, like um, like I said, I used to make a lot of them and from somebody that, that solely makes skits, isn't it awesome what you can do with a phone in like one room? Like Hell yeah. you you can make uh, cinematic if you can make something where I'm laughing so hard I have to call a homie like no what is happening watch this like they say it's not your video you ever te- text a video to somebody that, like yeah. watch this right now call me back when you're done when you have that feeling inside like that's all I used to go for every morning until it got to like I can't even show weed no more I'll just start making long videos and I stopped I feel like the short shit is the most fun stuff the stuff I can it do is. by myself it when is. I have a cameraman sometimes I'm like I don't want to get too goofy in front of this fool but by myself, I might be the goofiest person on earth. I, I get, I get it. But um, what I was asking is, do you ever see yourself not POV? Do you ever see yourself okay, going okay. F- more okay. into like bro, external I've, shots? You walking down the street, but it's not right here, bro. I've wanted to. I've tried this numerous times, but my fans do not respond to it the same way at all. It's just like, and I've been told this so many times, like. I think, like, I would drop, like, a short film, a short hood film or something, and niggas would be like, why you ain't use the, uh, why you ain't use the, the GoPro? Why you ain't use the other camera? And it's just, like, they want, I guess they seen me do that for so long. That's what niggas want. It's like that. So Y'all want that immersion. Like there's, a, there's a balance to it, too, I think. You could, you ever seen basketball? No, I can't say that I did. Oh, it's a, uh, the creators of South Park made it. It's sure. it's it's a movie from like the early two thousands, but in South Park, I'm like, yo, how are they gonna make people that love South Park come watch a live action movie with nobody from South Park in it? And there was just little pieces of South Park influence in it, and I think that's how you have to do it. But like, I'm gonna check that out. I'm saying like for you, like uh, people didn't respond to it. Well, maybe it's thirty percent external shit that you want to do and try different, and then it's seventy percent of yours, and then eventually maybe it's fifty fifty, and then it goes sixty forty. Because your your fans like you, it's not like, damn, I love GoPros, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like God, I love close up angles. Like no, nobody, <laughs> no, it's awkward as fuck, and you can, I can hear you talk in my ear. That's what's funny about it. It's yeah. uh, but what's the balance between that? Is, is no, nah, I, mean? I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you want to do that shit, do that shit, dude. I, I a mini movie. We all are bored. We all want more content from right. everyone that right. people like. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like even you. I mean, there's something you watch every day. And go, damn, this motherfucker's hilarious. There's something. There, there always is. There's always something. Mm-hmm. So, right. I think with that, that what I was asking is, um, do you see yourself going farther? And you said they don't respond, but that could be a. But yeah, no, I get you. Could Just be a mix. Keep pushing that shit out and keep tweaking it to where yeah. basically we make a comprom- compromise. Mm-hmm. Do you edit the videos? Hell yeah. You do? That's another thing that I do fucks nice. What do you use? I love editing. Premiere Pro. Oh, I use Premiere Lite. Well, Premiere anything, but I got the whole, the little package. You do a really great job with the sound design and like keeping it simple, but also kind of doing a lot with Good the shit, effects bro. at the same time. I like how I like how the videos always just end too. It's usually somebody dying, fading to black. <laughs> it just cuts off. The, it's a YouTuber. There's no intro. There's no outro. You know what I mean? Like it just starts and it ends. I like that. What's up, guys? Just taking a minute to talk about the sponsor of this episode, and that is Raw Papers. Raw Papers is the official rolling paper of the Dope As Usual podcast. Hopping right in right here. These are terped yellow Kush cones. Yes, Raw Papers sells Kush cones that have actual terps on them. King size roller. There you go right there. As thick or as skinny as you want your joint is up to you. Have you ever been rolling a joint, and at the end you get your shoelace or the end of your sweater, and you pack in the tip? That's what this is for. And yes, I know a lot of you went, oh, wow, that's actually smart. Exactly. Raw thinks of everything because it's made by smokers for or smokers. One other thing I think is awesome. This is called the raw book. Yes, it looks like a notebook, but what is it? It's a book, but the book is all perforated tips. You can smoke this entire book. Yeah, you can go get a pack of tips, but why not get a notebook? It looks awesome. As you know, Raw Papers is on Instagram, Raw Life 247. Go ahead and check them out, follow them, drop it on there, let them know the Dope As Usual podcast sent you. Also, something else very cool. Here's a tray, but also a stash box. Very awesome for the organized stoner in your life. As always, thank you so much for Raw Papers for supporting the show. Back to the episode. Do you remember the skits uh, maybe 15 years ago? Remember that guy, uh, that dude, Unforgivable? Unforgivable. 
Remember the dude uh, in the forest? Oh, oh Spurner oh, had no brothers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the vibe I get. I'm like, yo, I just want to laugh at somebody that's just made some stupid shit. And I guarantee you, if I was hanging out with that boy, it'd be hilarious. Bro, he that's didn't the vibe. give a mm. fuck. He was that horrible. Fuck. He was horrible. It was just three. It was just two dudes in a forest. And why? Why <laughs> didn't he blow off that? It's pre YouTube. It's YouTube when it first started. Before you were like, you can be a YouTuber. Okay. Remember when YouTube first started? It's like a place where full upload music and shit. Mm-hmm. And then we're all in Ebon's world and Rotten.com and fucking Kimbo MySpace Slayers. and Kimbo. Exactly. That's where I first saw Kimbo. Man, mm-hmm. MySpace, my page used to be popping. Yeah. Man. In my top eight. <laughs> all the girls from school. Bro, I had the money falling. I oh. had the song and shit. It's just like, man, you couldn't tell well, me I wasn't gang banging at that age. <laughs> Dumb as hell. What what music would have been on your MySpace in 2005? Probably Plas. Just something just hella, hella hood. <laughs> All right. Um, we, uh, I watched a video of yours, and at first I'm like, are you messing around? You gonna? And you start talking, oh, you're serious about this. It says you're about to be 30, and you're like, I'm nearly 30. I just got uh, diagnosed with autism. Hell yeah. What? This will. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, man. It's it, not it, bad. No, it ain't. It, it, <laughs> I don't know. Old it's, cartoon. It's a spectrum, though. It's like. Yeah, but what did you think? When you described you're like, your symptoms, I was like, my fucking. That, uh, that's what I'm asking, Joe. That's what it I'm asking, Marty. So What's wrong that you were like, yo, why is this? Why do I feel different about this, this, and this? Because I'm socially awkward too. I don't think I'm autistic, but also, like, what that are some wasn't of the what other I signs? I was even looking to be, to figure out. It was just more so like, it was, I was going off the burnout shit, the, the this, the that. It just felt like I was just down. I'm just like, you know what I mean? Going to talk to niggas. Like, I'm going to the doctors and shit, and it's just like, Yeah, it's like that, that, bro. That's not what I was looking for, but that's what I was told after. I'm saying, what, 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 what was the conclusion? Like, oh, do you do this? How this, do and I this? Feel? No, from them, like, yo, you have five of these signs. Where this is probably it's, right. it's a whole myriad of shit did it to where it's like this is not just it's not taken lightly. You gotta go through. You know what I'm saying? Like multiple evaluations, and it's just a gotcha. lot of shit. Gotcha. Did so it give you any sort of like relief? When you found it that out? Did, it did. It did. It was a mixture, bro. So it's between I felt relieved and I felt devastated low key. So it's like, and I don't even know why. It's just the name to it. It's mm-hmm. just like, damn. I Say just feel artistic. Like, I just feel like I'm not, not normal. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's how I felt about it at first. Now I'm back to like, uh, okay, I was born this way. Why the fuck mm-hmm. do I give a fuck? Just because I found out at yeah. the age of damn near 30. So is there like tools or anything like that you can implement that would help you out as far as the symptoms go or whatever? I wouldn't even say, bro. I just kind of understand myself more and why mm-hmm. I live my life, live my life the way I do, the things I do, like the routines I have. I just understand it all. Yeah. Now. Like aware, Basically, yeah. Not judging yourself. Yeah, but I haven't really changed too much of anything since being diagnosed. Like, because I was always thinking, like, yo, what's wrong? I do the same mistakes over and over and over, knowing that they're gonna be there, and I still do it. What the fuck is wrong with me? Right. I'll, I'll do that sometimes. And be like, I think I'm just, I forget. <laughs> I just forget. My I daughter did the wildest shit. She was like, Hold on, got- hold on. We're in the audit. <laughs> Go. My yeah. daughter did the wildest <laughs> shit. What's the next Yo, shit you're gonna say? Like, Little or tall? Small or big? I got a 16 year old daughter. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, and she's what? like, she, she was like just she's doing some goofy car. shit in the kitchen. She's like walking laps around the uh, island. I do that every day. Or she was just like making some goofy ass sounds or something. She told April like, I think I'm autistic. No, something to April like er, something happened where she said that to my wife. So then they were in the doctor, and April brought it up to the doctor, and then Ariana's like, "You know, I was just messing with you, right? Like basically, like that she laid all these symptoms out to the doctor, and then Ariana's like, you, you know, I was your wife believed serious, you. Right? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, I thought okay. I thought it was about to be some serious <laughs> shit right now. I was like, damn, what happened to her, man? What did she realize? <laughs> I thought she was about to get evaluated on the spot. No, <laughs> oh, she inadvertently made April feel. Dumb, dumb in the situation. That sounds in incredible, dumb. actually. It was a good payoff. <laughs> um, so, no, I wanted to ask that because uh, I've been seeing so many people like late in life diagnosed with this and that. But for me, I was like, but you didn't do anything before about it. 
I think you'll be okay. That's how, yeah, yeah, that's true. Right? That's true. And I just think it's a lot of stigma around autism. Yeah, I think it's understood. If we understood more of what the hell it is, it's a vast it wouldn't variety. be viewed so negatively. Like Rain Man, that for autism, he can count good. Run, right. take him to the casino, bro. Right. That's not a disability. But he was socially could not communicate. I get it. That was mm-hmm. a different type it's of autism. Yeah, it's for him. Yeah. So maybe it had to be uncomfortable posting that video. I'd imagine. Ooh, hell, <laughs> hell yeah! But hell the response yeah. you got from the fans was amazing. From your whole community, I didn't like. expect that at all. Nor did I even. It wasn't even about like the You're response. Just I was just saying it to get it off my chest. Mm-hmm. I didn't really mm-hmm. care. I kind of thought people was gonna bash me for it, but it was like when I seen the response, I was like, "Oh shit, y'all cool as hell." Yeah. Like most people, yeah. cool yeah. especially about being that. in the spotlight, because like bro, I know, like on my YouTube, I've been like I said, I've been doing it for so long. I got fan all that. Like your your community, for your end, you're almost like, why would I share this with you? And then it got to the point of like, why wouldn't I share this with you? Right. Because yeah, you, you're you, I, I get it because it's one of the few people we've had on the show that you are your business. You are your you are the entertainment. Your you can't get replaced. You can't. Nobody can fill in. It's you really putting yourself out. Yeah, there. you are putting yourself out there fully. And in every aspect, everything you do is every vast variety of things in life. When your doctor does this, uh, your homeboy, the, the Vlad shit. That was so accurate, bro. It's so accurate, though. Because sometimes I'll be sitting there going, who's this guy's friends? I would not be your friend yeah, anymore. Bro, why are you talking so about this like that? Shit, but the way you said it might have been a mild version of shit that I've heard from rappers. Those fools will go hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, fools are putting out records. Record. I wouldn't tell you if I stole from you if I was a robber, let alone go, by the way, I'm rocking your kicks. Marcus, like, what the fuck is happening, bro? Yeah. So this get, I don't. Did you see this yeah, getting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, that was perfect. <laughs> so you have all walks of life. You have people that are just chilling, smoking bowls in parks. You got hood ass fools. You got Marty. You know what I mean? You got every ball walks of life. So to put yourself out there like that, your hood homies are gonna be like, you're stupid. You're dumb. Don't be soft. But and then I'd there's other people that be, might be different. I'd rather everybody kind of know how I'm coming. Like it's like I want y'all to. I just want to be a regular person, like not regular, but it's like to where I don't know. I could just be honest, transparent. That's my main. Well, shit. That's what I say, just, yeah, I don't want to have to be like, able to do that like, when you yeah. have all these walks of life looking at you, considering you cool and awesome. And fr- I, I'm saying like if I had to put out some stuff where I'm like, damn, I don't even want to talk about this shit. I got a lot of hood ass friends. I got a lot of cool mm-hmm. friends. I got a lot of this. Ninety percent right. of the people are going to talk or not going to talk shit. But those ten percent, like, damn, that's I didn't know this would affect it. That sucks. I've been like this the whole time, dickhead. Mm-hmm. I just didn't tell you. Right. So I, I feel you because like sometimes I'm like, am I bipolar? What is wrong with my brain? My mom's bipolar, my sister, my grandma, my grandma. Everyone is I'm like, damn it, is that me? Sometimes I'll be stoked as hell. Like two seconds later, one thing go, everything is not working out in my life. Right, like, right. but for three hours, I'm like, mm-hmm. fuck. <clears throat> so sometimes I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna smoke this one off, man. I'm just gonna like you're like, I don't go to the doctor and get evaluated. Like maybe I will one day. They're like, yo. Chill out, motherfucker. Just be your moods don't need to go like yeah, this. Straight, yeah. I, I, since I was a kid, though, so sometimes I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to talk about that shit openly and how I feel on my channel. So for you to do that is like, damn, fool, you are you're very transparent and open, and Appreciate that's awesome. Mm-hmm. So that was that, that was my elongated ass uh mm-hmm. way of saying, Yeah, good for you for doing that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was 40 <laughs> minutes of shit. My bad. Uh, uh go ahead. I was wondering, can I give you my top three? Favorite videos of yours. Hell yeah. See if you can give me some feedback and then we can get your top. Okay. That was a common fair question. Your favorite videos of your own. So my top three. Off top, I watched one today that I thought was really funny. It was a really fast one. When when the bag you buy isn't as fire as you thought it was gonna be, the dude just walks up on the porch. I already know. My man. <laughs> so it's just, it's the, the bag wasn't as fire as it was supposed to be. Doesn't even say nothing. Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, what are you looking that was, for? That was a gunshot sound effect. Oh, he doesn't have headphones on. <laughs> this fool will scare the shit out of me. Sometimes we do shrooms and he'll put little sounds on my. So that's why, so, that's why like, the headphones are here. The bag wasn't fire enough. He just comes up, blasts blast the dude him. on the porch. West Side Guns him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's another thing I fucks with. And I don't, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I fucks with like infusing the action. With the comedy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I like that shit. Unexpected. Like, that's why I always got, like, guns and this and this and that. It's just, like, it kind of, I don't know. Like I said, keep it 
Keep it a little. YouTube doesn't seem to age restrict your shit either. With the like, who? Or is that right? No, they do. They do. All right, so. It depends on what it is. It's like, bro, there's no consistency though. Oh, I don't know what same. I can and can't do because it's like one time I'll, I'll have a gun, y'all be cool with that, but next time I turn around and do something else with a gun, and it's mm-hmm. just, yeah, eight, eighteen and up or whatever. Yeah, I that's how we feel. I don't too, get super it, consistent. Okay, uh, my second favorite one: How the Hood Was Creative. Bro, that's up there for me too. Mm-hmm. That's up there for me too because this was a concept to where. I was really studying that shit hard when I was in college. You can tell. For no reason, though. It's just like shit I wanted to know. Like, why do I come from the hood? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, why was my people stuck in the, the projects? Like, why? It don't make sense. Like, how I... It's basically, how does that shit start? So, yeah. I would like, would, like, spend my free time sometimes in college just looking shit up. And it's just like, oh, there's layers to this shit. It's not just slavery. It's not just this. It's, like, layers of how we were oppressed i'm not trying to go on some whole dark shit it's like no nah, nigga we got we got freedom now you know what i'm saying we we straight but it's like i don't know i, I felt like that was super deep and i feel proud of making that shit i like mm-hmm. that one yeah that so, got a huge response even though it was like obviously controversial like shit yeah, to be put yeah. Out. <laughs> yeah well there's another way of uh bringing shedding light on shit and people like is he serious and then now they know no, that's that's true. Like exactly. if you were a teacher, that's exactly. why that's the fun science teacher. Like, well, we're making a fireball. By the way, uh, bitch, that's how gravity works. Yeah. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. Introducing the ideas. Like the how cop- teachers will make songs and fun shit. Yeah, I, I only right. knew one teacher in my life. I went, I don't like this motherfucker. All the rest of my that's how I felt. There's like one teacher in my life. I'm like, I like you. How do you keep this up for 40 years, motherfucker? Damn, I'm depressed for you. Mm-hmm. Shit. Damn, yeah. Think about a teacher's life. Yeah. God, half these kids are in jail. Four of them are gonna be the bosses sure. of my kids and one's a dick mm-hmm. i wouldn't have a patience bro i wouldn't i i'd, I'd fucking kill. walk out done I'm dead yeah. i'd end up stone cold stunning one kid and get fired were you improv in that video uh yeah Damn. yeah 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 so it's just let's find we're gonna pick the location i kind of know what i'm gonna do we're gonna set the camera and i'm just gonna go yeah, skeleton, <laughs> yeah. skeleton idea. Like, I need to get here. It's you're you're doing improv, man. You're doing an improv class by yourself. Like, I need to get here, <laughs> but how am I gonna shit. get here? I think that's fun, and that it's it's, it's a little scary. We think about it outside, but when you're in there, like he's I doing the what character, I do. so he's just be, he's like yeah. so good at being the character. And it's the little quick, like it reminds me so much of my an adopted brother growing up, Jamal. Oh, that's pop. The little. The little side shit, the little slick side shit is everything. And you can't really write that shit. It's just like, that's what makes you so unique. Is like, that's what makes it so authentic to me is that little slick, like the little one-liners in between everything. Good look, bro. <laughs> and then you said the characters, your favorite characters by. Uh, so the kind of, it's kind of the same character. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it kind of is, I guess. Freddy. The Freddy oh, character is hilarious. Okay, okay. And the devil. When you die and go to hell. He is damn near the same character. <laughs> They're both both funny to me. And I That's like how popping, bro. you like did was that, you did like a voiceover basically, right? It ain't a voiceover, it's just a manipulator. Like I'm kind of changing the pitch of my voice through editing. That's mm-hmm. really all it is, but it is mm-hmm. my real voice. Question. So you yeah. you said you got Chucky, you got a big mic. I saw the mic Myers. I got big mic. Hell yeah, I got so, mic. So you're 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 a horror film guy. I, old, old horror film. Old the horror new film. ones don't be hitting the same, man. Yeah. I can't. But I will say, I seen bits and pieces of Scream Six, and that shit was done. <laughs> Ain't that what it's called? I'm just saying, damn, Part Six. God, I remember Part One came out, bro. That shit, the looks of it was fire. <laughs> like the the gore and the blood and shit. I don't care about the story, but that shit looked fire. But as far as the old ones, I'm a huge Mike fan, man. Mike the <sighs> Goat, man. Mike the goat and and Freddie hard too though. Question about Freddie Krueger. Freddie funny as hell. He is kind of funny, huh? He's yeah. a trolling ass motherfucker. Yeah. Like yo, in your dream, now over here stab you. Man, them nightmares was trippy as hell. When you go back and watch, and niggas be flying in school buses and shit. It's they like, didn't scare cool. me as a kid. I thought Freddie Krueger was kind of dope as a there kid. There you go. I, I had insomnia too, so I wasn't really worried about Freddie Krueger. And I was like, fuck Freddie Krueger, you only come into your house. Fuck him. Uh, question about Freddie Krueger since you're a horror person. Okay. Why didn't you just stay awake? Why didn't anybody hit hit like hit a rail? 
when you're getting chased by Freddy Krueger. No, but if you're getting killed by Freddy Krueger, your homies right now. Ready? Oh. Yo, let's do some meth tonight. Let's stay up and not die. Okay, what about when y'all come back down? You ever seen a Mexican tweaker never come down? I have. They live downtown. Those guys don't get hit by Freddy Krueger ever. Man, Freddy gonna catch your ass even if it take three days, four days. He gonna catch you on that come down and it's over. Because now you're gonna be even more tired. Nope. Because you didn't just extend so the time of staying up. I'm so twacked. I'm going to stab him right now. If we all, a uh, monster came in and this Freddy Krueger situation happened, are you guys just going to die? Hell no. Nah. I'm going to fall asleep with shit. I'm going to take it into my dream. I'm going to do whatever I can to kill this fool. They just gave and up and died every time. You being had up on something, you can kind of tweak the dream. Yeah. So, okay. Coming in and out of consciousness okay. and shit. Okay. okay. I don't know. I'm just thinking about Freddy Krueger and every white child just gets murdered. Whoa. For 40 years. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> no, that, is that whole is. town just white? There's no variation in the whole town for over two, two decades in these movies. It's just all... This is, this is like a hate crime. It's a, You know what? It spree. is a hate crime. Right? He's Puerto Rican. He hates white people. <laughs> Freddie's Puerto Rican. So his whole background, he was a... Pe he was a creep, and then they burned him. And then he was like, oh, yo, I, I made a deal with the devil. I'm going to come back heavily and get you. How come the churches didn't gang up? That's a but crazy like, yeah. story, bro. It is a wild story for to, to pitch kids. I in don't the think 80s. today they would come out with some shit like that. Like that backstory. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> he used to do crazy <laughs> shit to us. And my dad killed him. Yeah. What happened? He's a demon. Let's move. Like in eerie like eerie, like in it. Let's move town. He'll follow you, don't he? No, it it's part of the town. Why don't you just move to town? Oh, he if my all my cousins just died from this clown, I'm just gonna move. Oh, Pennywise is garbage. He's 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 trash. He he can only be in the sewers and he the first one was funny though. Yeah. The first ones are it funny was, with was. Tim Curry were great. All right, you like you like slap I don't I don't like horror movies, bro. I can't do it. Don't like them. I don't like uh, seeing people get stabbed. So you like funny shit. You like stoner films? Yeah, if there's weed involved. Like Grandma's Boy is a stoner film, but there's not That's that much shit. weed. That's my shit. It is, but like, there's not a lot of weed in it. But there is a lot of weed in it. What's but your top three favorite stoner films? Ooh, Grandma's Boy's in there. Okay. For for weed? Yeah. <sighs> Whoa. You guys ponder too. Nobody's huh? ever asked you that, I don't think. <laughs> I think it's generic, but Pineapple Express is such a good story. Half Baked's got to be out there. Of course, but like, how do you or choose between half baked, how high? Damn, I forgot about it. And up in smoke, you don't, you don't. I think you watch them all <laughs> on five different TVs at the same fucking time. Hmm, it's an underrepresented category. There's I not got a, a sleeper of. for y'all, and I, I don't even know if y'all seen it. Smiley face, it's a good movie. Ooh, that mm -hmm. was decent. Mm -hmm. Bro, she's one. funny as shit, and Anna I would Ferris. like to see more of her. Like, Sca yeah. from from uh, from Scream. I mean, scary movie. Yeah, Anna Ferris. She you played know, the, a ditzy girl every time. Funny as hell, dude. She's funny, man. Hell yeah. Uh, that she was married to fucking Star Lord. Those fools. That's must be a funny ass house home. My favorite shit is uh, high school. It's called. Uh, just you know what's funny? High school. You, we we talk about Mac and no, and Mac and Devin's up there oh, too. Yeah, but yeah. there's something flat out called just high school, bro. Mm -hmm. You guys see it with the dude with the braids. He be hearing the frog and shit. I mean, what movie is talk. this? It's just trippy, bro. And then it's like they got the whole school high off brownies or some shit. So the principal tripping. It's Everybody like an 80s tripping. movie or something? It's, no, it's in the two, 2000s, 2010. It's probably it, 2000s. Anybody recognizable that will remember? No, but that's why I fucks with it. It ain't like no big time actors, but it's it's funny as hell, bro. I laughed from front to end. Like from, really? from beginning to end. That shit is fire. Damn, I'm, I'm surprised I never heard of it. I've heard of all movies. What the hell just happened to me? Okay. You ever see the Natural Born Killers? Don't tell me that I got a Woody Harrelson. Yeah. Ooh, hey, you like movies. Hard you like movies. Hell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, movies. do you remember when he steals her from the family and the dad's a piece of shit with the robe? That's Rodney that? Dangerfield. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. okay, so that's all I was trying to describe. Good Bro, shit. that God. is a classic. Nobody knows Man. anything like that. I've said so many movies and goes, never seen it. I go, it's movies, okay. Bro. Let's go. Do, are you really into movies heavy? Hell yeah. Especially like that around like 90s, 2000s, shit like that, bro. That's, yeah, that's my shit. Any type of movie. It's like. Do you like Demolition Man? Wesley Snipes and Sylvester Stallone? 
I haven't seen that, but I will say Wesley Snipes <sighs> is in my watch. top. Then you gotta watch it. Wesley Snipes in my top. Wesley Snipes in my top five all time actors. Oh, he's so sick in that movie. Bro, that nigga, man, bad motherfucker. White man can't jump. Brooklyn's finest. Just little shit. He just be killing shit, bro. Blade. He's just mm-hmm. solid. It's true. Solid. Two on food. Thanks for everything. You ever seen that? What's that? Where he plays a chick? No. John Leguizamo, pa- uh, oh, Patrick Swayze, called? and uh, Wesley Snipes. Two on food. Thanks for everything. They play drag queens. I've never even heard of that. Oh, you. Oh, that's a good ass movie, dude. For real? Yeah, they all play girls the whole movie. They're drag queens in the whole movie. Okay. What so a song good song, ass movie. Uh, and they get stuck in the Midwest. Holiday Heart. <laughs> you ever seen uh-uh. that? You ain't never seen that with Ving Rams? Ain't that what it's called? No. Ving, Ving Rams Ra- plays a woman, bro, and he, he did it. He did his thing. He plays a woman in a few bro, he movies. He played like an older woman. In a few movies, he plays a chick. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, like two different Ving movies. Ving Rams hard, too. Yeah. Ving Rams is hard. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> you call for your mom. Yo, if that was my stepdad, I got to shoot him. I can't fight that man. I, you have to shoot Why that stepdad. Why not just move dad, out? Right? He was a grown man. He had a kid, right? That was the whole issue. It's like, bro, you tell This you is shoot. a story about responsibilities. Man. And from the stepdad's view, he's like a good, he's working all day, comes home, right. choke out this gang, gang bang. Yeah, Why yeah. you got Stoop Dog looking at us like that? <laughs> Bring a heat on the house. Nah, v Rain's a scary motherfucker, though. All right. Um, oh, all right. Hold on. Movies. All right. What's your top five movies? Favorites that aren't comedies. Oh, okay. I, I've read one is Minister Society. Great movie. Uh, not Minister Society in South Central while you're drinking juice in the hood. Not, not the, the real one. one. The serious one. Yeah. What a bad ending. Uh, man, that's tough, bro, because there's hella hits. Um, it got to be some Denzel shit. Oh, Training Day. Training Day is up there. I don't know if that's number two, but it's up there. Yeah, Train is uh, good. Great movie. Tropic Thunder. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know you can watch the whole movie with commentary? And remember when Robert Downey was like, I mean, Robert uh, Downey Jr. was like, I don't drop the accent to the DVD commentary. He's in character through the whole commentary, too. That's hard. Because Bro, he was he's dead a serious. Bad motherfucker. And I wish. Did Hollywood would still be open to ideas like that? Like it's like a white man playing That's a black dude. Though. It's just like. He, that was a very slight line of like. He killed it and he did it perfect. Yeah. It was There's no other way to do it. Yeah. So you can't just take his way of doing it or else it'd be like, oh, Robert Downey, right, Robert Downey right. Jr. way. There's mm-hmm. no other way to do blackface. That made, that really solidified Impossible. him as like, to me, as a fucking phenomenal actor, bro. He's great, dude. Crazy. And he plays Crazy. an Australian. It's just a good, it's just good, man. Okay, Tropic Thunder, let's go. Um, That's comedy, but still, but still, great movie. Damn, dude. All right. I haven't oh, had anybody else with the movies. Shit, uh, Let's go. It's cool as hell. It's trippy as fuck. Um, I don't know how to say it. Requiem. Requiem for a Dream. That shit is whole. Yeah. Great movie. That shit is over. <laughs> oh, my I used to do a God. lot of those intros on Instagram Man. when it started skits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Bruh>. Sliding. And <laughs> yeah. Like you in ass that, to you ass. In that lifestyle with him. Oh, I yeah. Like when I was a fiend after a while. Marlon or which Wayne's brother? Marlon. Yeah. Marlon, right? Hell, yeah. Man, that's a wild end. That just goes to show. Now, if this movie from the mom's perspective, her kids are just drug addicts, and this is just the movie Kids. But from this perspective, what a movie, man. Mm-hmm. What's his name? Jared Leto? No, Jake. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal in that one, right? No, it's Jared Leto. It's Jared Leto. For real? It's Jared Leto. I didn't even know that. Jake Gyllenhaal's in uh, 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 Donnie Darko. Okay. I never to kind of, you never seen Donnie Darko? Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh. You like horror movies? You watch that? Ooh, That's shit. a psychological weird one, okay. man. Okay. Oh yeah, what? Yeah, you got a hell of shit. You got you flying back, right? Hell yeah. You watch Donnie watch Darko. Watch Donnie Darko. You'll Donnie not Darko. be. Okay. You will not be disappointed. What about bro. like hostile, or, like realistic Ugh. horror movies? Those ones hostile, gross me out. Hostile. You smile when you think of Achilles tendons cuts and shit. I don't, I don't really fuck with hostile, bro. I mean, it was decent. I would say it's average. It's because, mm-hmm. look at, like I said earlier, you don't like real life situation yeah. movies. That shit happens every day. Michael Myers shit's impossible. Right. But you're like, I want to see thrashers and slashers. Right. And it's like a going superhero my dreams. style horror movie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is because Hostels, shit, that can happen right now. 
next door. Right. <laughs> Probably did. Like, think about it. That's that's just that's just that cartel life. Not a uh-huh. minute ago, bro. About twenty yeah. years ago. Right? That first one was bad, dude. That's still like a relevant horror movie. Uh, That first one. I was so disturbed when I saw it. I don't even think I finished watching it. Because it's like, it goes taken. Part two is just hostile. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right? Because that's what happens when you get taken. Bro, y'all seen horror candy? Ugh. Shit like that. What a badass <laughs> way of getting that fool, man. Oh, that when she fake cut. I don't want to. You know, it's been out for 20 years. When she fake cut his balls and dick off. How was, do you fake cut somebody's she dick off? froze it so mm. much that he's like, you're not going to feel mm. this, okay? Mm. And then she's just like slicing. She froze it? She's making him think that she, he's tor- she's torturing him. Some and of she's, the wildest shit ever. Wha- a movie. little girl's doing this to him <laughs> because he's a perv. Oh. She caught his. Good movie. But then they did the. Uh, this is an underground joint. And uh, it's like the equivalent of that, but towards a woman. It's on some horror shit or thriller, I guess. But they cut her, uh, they cut her Yamain out. They cut her <laughs> type shit. It's called I mean, chaos. Isn't it already a whole? <laughs> <laughs> when she's just sewing up, I don't know. <laughs> like yo, bitch, you cut off. Not like make it make it bigger, I guess. <laughs> like we're gonna stretch your dick long. Like <laughs> no, sorry, don't. Like what the fuck, bitch. <laughs> I'd be definitely like kind of weary of like the directors and shit who make the movies. Man. Right? It's just like, who's what is going on in your mind, man? And how'd you get yeah. it approved? And who's got money in your family? Oh, good point. Good point. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Dad, I want to make a movie where I cut a guy's dick off and he eats it. All right, son, I got you. Don't worry. As he cuts a guy's dick off and eats it. <laughs> <laughs> All these movies I'm good on. I don't like yeah, that shit. What about YouTubers? Is there any way that you watch or you like watching online? To be totally honest, no. I knew it. I'd be like not plugged into shit like that. I'd be watching like, I watch real shit. So it's just like the funniest shit to me be like just them clips that you'll see on Twitter and shit. And it's just like. Mm. About YouTube stuff. Nah, but it's like real life, like fiends just cutting footage. up and just, yeah. just real oh, life fuckery. I love you don't, it. Yeah. You, I love the it. bookmarks on my Twitter is not to okay, be looked at. That type shit. There's <laughs> some shit in there. Yeah. We got some guys coming on next month. Uh, if you're on Twitter, we won't say all the keywords, but you ever heard of Dads versus Predators? I can assume what that is, but the no. The fools on Twitter that that find like creeps that they're trying to meet up with. Right, right, right. And they'll be like, hey, what's up, man? It's you. Oh, this is you. So you want me to smack you five times? Or should I call the cops? And they're like, oh, okay. And they just bah, pop, <laughs> Bro, and then call the, the cops. Longest, I thought that shit was fake. Not these guys. These guys do it for real. They do it for real. And the it's thing like a is whole like, category now. I got fifty videos bookmarked in my phone. I love it. I watch it. Every, my favorite thing that I, when I wake up on long alarm clock, I just hear, "Excuse me, everybody." This man's here to meet a 13 year old boy. I'm like, oh, what a good day. I'm waking up. So let's go. Oh. No, it's like the funniest thing is but like we'll be smacking them up. It's so funny. Is with, with content like that. Now, maybe one of y'all might might know, but like, how the fuck do you know that he's hitting up uh, underage? They are the ones doing person. it. Oh, you're like us as the viewer? No, the, the people person. setting him up. So it's what like, they do is they have them enough to where they're sending pictures what they want to do, where to meet, and they meet them in public. Go, hey, I'm 13. Here's my mom's gone. If you meet me at Walmart in so this aisle, let's go to my is house. Is the kid real? Is what? No, it's the guy doing it. So how you? How did you it's know he fish. was a? He because was like, hey, I'm 13. Be let's have sex. No, but what, my point is, how they know to hit him up? How do you know he's a weirdo? Like, oh, there's weirdos it's a everywhere. Debate. Like, because what like, they do is they put it out on 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 these dating okay, apps. Okay, okay. And they're like, yo, this is how old I am. Dating and be like, yo, another thirteen year old hit me up. We're dating. You shouldn't be on a dating app. You're thirteen. But if a forty year old man's like, oh, thirteen. Oh, mm. oh, you. I'll meet you at Walmart right now. And they have to get enough evidence to where they can show the cops, like, look what he was doing. Okay. And I just think it's so funny to watch guys go, what, what, Gah! get <laughs> lit up. Though. So to to go off of that, actually, I'm, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I do be fucking with a. Uh, I watch shit similar to that. I do fuck so with Skeet funny. Hansen. Skeet Hansen. Yeah. Stop. Explain. I need oh, to you know. know. You ain't down with it? I know Chris Hansen, but Skeet Hansen's Skeet a funny Hansen play on basically this. Basically, is ripping <laughs> off Chris Hansen, but he light skinned. He's like a, a, you know what I mean? Like a, a black <laughs> dude, but he's playing Chris Hansen in real life, though, type shit. So it's like he'll see niggas, he'll meet somebody at like a Meyer, and it's like, oh, you're trying to. Uh, da, 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 da. Fred Meyer? What's a Meyer? Like a supermarket. Oh, okay. My bad. 
Y'all don't got them? Uh-uh. Oh, all right. Well, uh, damn. So he's, he's meeting him there. Light skin. Yeah, he'll just handsome. set him up and just be basically like kind of taunting him. Just real like subtle though. It's not aggressive. See, that's, it's just that's, like that's subtle. cool. I want to see the fool get popped right in the mouth. So bad because it's like I'm with no you. one else is gonna do it. I'm with Can you. you just do it I'm for me? You. Let's go. And they got two cameras. Like, hey, hold my camera. Ah! I'm with you. Oh, I love it, man. Because if I'm watching UFC, I might as well watch UFC. Someone deserved it, bro. That slap uh-huh. contest is some that's of the bad. fire. Like, that's some of the firest content. I've you love it. With. Oh, bro, I can't wait. Niggas, they be watch. smacking the hell out of me. I can see the CTE <laughs> come on their head, right? Like in their eyes. Bro, you can see the brain see, damage. Like, it's way different than boxing because it's like <laughs> yeah, it the way they swell up from the smack be different. It's like yeah. in boxing, you could dodge it. And this right, one, you're like, right, all right. right, go full force on my neck, smack, and rupture don't my they eardrum. Make you do a retry if you flinch. Mm, Shit is crazy. You got to smack it. If again, you get knocked yeah. out, you oh. lose. Yeah, I don't I want that so, yeah. in my life. Like boxing, like bro, don't worry. I've been working on my bobbing and weaving. Mm-hmm. Right. Over here's like I've been working on <clears throat> this, leaning into hits. There's no practice. I seen motherfuckers be cheating. They'll grow their beard out, try to do shit like that. Really? Yeah, it's a, for a cushion. It's like you don't want that direct <sighs> smack. I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess that would would help. Yeah. I I probably break my shit in half slapping somebody that hard. What? How do we get on this? I don't know. Slap talk. Um, slap boxing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. onto the predators. Yeah, <laughs> on Twitter, man. If you've been watching some yeah. shit on Twitter, uh, there's a guy, Steve something. He does a like a robber will come in, but he announces it like ESPN. Look at this guy coming in. Oh, he's about to get lit up. And he says it like an ESPN announcer. Yeah. Look at this fucking idiot. Oh, lit up. He's five bullets heavier. And they'll show like an assassin <laughs> trying to. Bullets and heavier. Then, oh, I'll show you. Wait, so it's like a prank? Like No, 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 no. He'll just get clips from like that crazy shit and he'll just do a voiceover like, all right, here's this guy coming in and think he's going to rob this man. Little does know, there he is getting stabbed in the face. Oh, man, too bad. Yeah. So, what an idiot. And they'll go replay, replay, and he'll show it again. Uh-huh. It's, it's ridiculousness. Like, it's ridiculousness, ESPN, but for horrible shit. I'll show you guys after. <laughs> I like it. I like it's it. It's very I funny. Like it. <laughs> but there's one other guy, uh, rest in peace yeah. this fool, one of these Predator uh, pages just got killed. This guy just got murked. Damn. By somebody, but this giant ass fool, he comes up to these dudes in their car and he has homies, but at the same time, this you, and right when he shows them, everybody's just slashing tires at the same time and they pop all the windows. Pop, 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 pop. So the guy's just getting shredded, his whole car. And then he's like, oh yeah, that shit, that is me. Damn it. Now I can't drive off. And then they get their keys and they chuck them. I'm like, all right, pedophile, get out of here. Damn. And they can't go nowhere. <laughs> I know, <laughs> uh, right now, if, wouldn't you? If I would do that right now. Could those dudes turn That's around so and be fun. like getting themselves arrested for this? Of course, you're assaulting people. Mm-hmm. I, I uh, think if they go to jail, they're like, "Don't worry, bro. You're good. We know what you're here for." Mm-hmm. Oh, so I, I think you go into the jail as superstar. You go as Kurt Angle, year two, <laughs> right, right. walking in flexing with a singlet on. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I think you're okay. Damn. Going to jail as the man. Mm-hmm. And you're fighting, you're down to fight. I think it, I think it'd be all right. Um, way off topic, but that's what no, I like to I watch on Twitter. Mm-hmm. It's my morning shit. I watched a new one this morning. Oh. I'm gonna check that shit out. What's it called? DAP Dads ver- Dads Against Predators. But that's the dude with the voice and shit. That no, that guy that guy died. That guy died. Oh, okay. oh, the vo- the voice. I'll show you him, Steve okay, something. Okay, okay. But the other guy, yeah, that guy died. Mm-hmm. Um, yo, I, I just be watching this shit every single. That's morning. it. That's all you watch. On Twitter, yeah, bro. Twitter yeah. got the best content. Man. I just don't want to see murders every day. They just no, show right, you murders, right, like. Right. I just like how constant. raw it is. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. Also, you can't open it in public. Oh shit! You cannot open Twitter. Oh, it's in public. very porny. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't ask you for it. How come there's fifteen hey, in a row? The issue with it be is like it's not even so much the where it's popping up on my timeline. It's like it's not not like I'm clicking on that shit throughout the day. It's in the comments, bro. You'll just be on a oh, random too. post. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's that's like, too. all right, I'm t- I'm looking at some shit about Trump. Why comments am I seeing useless. titties? Like it's mm-hmm. like it's cool. I fucks with it, but also I'm, I'm on a I'm on a plane. Oh, yes, <laughs> bro. That's, that's I'm, I'm a, I, now people are behind me like this guy's a creep. Because yeah. if I saw that, by like, oh, 
This guy's a weird. Dude's a creep for real, Dude's yeah. A like, creep, bro. In public, <laughs> damn, bro. For sure. Jesus Christ, go to like, the bathroom or something. How much time do you spend? But also for me, it's like I'm not a creep. I swear to God. Right. It's just this bitch. I follow. They should Twitter. get rid of comments on Twitter. They're fucking useless. Like, no, they need them. So annoying. I no, mean, they I, need them. In theory, oh, the, yeah. But the it's spam like, ones are so stupid. Yeah, right. it right. makes it impossible. Like not even able to use basically. Right. All right. Speaking of horrible things and funny things and people things being fun about, um, this uh, Caitlin Clark song you made. Oh, <laughs> I fuck with Caitlyn, man. Hey, she can dunk on all of us. We'll say that. I fuck with all of them now. It's like I just I never thought I'd be interested in women's basketball, but it's like that shit is actually they getting that shit in. They getting it in. Yeah, you see Lola Bunny, they can ball, man. Since Space Jam, girls <laughs> right. can play basketball. Right. That's right. what I remember. Space Jam. What, what caused you to make that song? Um, <laughs> it was the the shit on the internet. It's just like everybody was kind of. I feel like it, the the everybody's so like torn as far as like the Caitlyn Clark haters, the Kate Caitlyn Clark supporters. Why do they hate her? I don't understand. Um, because she's the face of female I basketball. See, I feel like it's an envious she thing. She came in, oh. bro. She changed the shit, flipped it upside down. It's like. We wouldn't even be talking about the WNBA right now mm -hmm. if it wasn't for her, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's that's where I came in. It's just like I, I just showed she's my a alliance. superstar though, like, right? I respect she's her. a great player. She's like one of the best players. She's nice, nice. Like I've only seen clips of the ball going in. Yeah, it type shit. <laughs> so like gotcha. I couldn't know how, how if she missed a lot. Gotcha. Yeah. What's her number one critique? Why no one's dunking? I know that. Cause she white. If I could she can get past that. Thanks, man. <laughs> they were being completely <laughs> honest. Like it's the Eminem effect. Like, yo, you're good. You're real fucking good. Yeah. I don't want to admit that you're that fucking good. You're All not right. the face but of this. She's definitely, bro. She got some talent. Cause yeah. she's white. That's exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> Did you freestyle that whole video? This Hell whole? yeah. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. That was garbage. It wasn't on beat. Hell it was, yeah. It was terrible, but. Hey, I be trying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you done music? Like, if you done songs outside of that? Okay, so I did, and that's why. Okay, so you, we can all agree, or at least you heard it. That was a terrible song, right? But that's because, like, when usually when I make, <laughs> you heard it, right? My shit sucks. <laughs> usually when I make music, it was like I had, I had a producer that would help me and coach oh, me, shit. and like. Mm -hmm. He was kind of writing my raps and shit. Uh -huh. Shout out Tomlin, but he passed away. He got killed. Oh, damn. R.I.P. Tomlin. And that was my first song without dude writing it or helping me. So now you hear that's that's uh -huh. me like type shit. Uh -huh. Whereas the other shit is Tomlin. I <laughs> had a lot of help at first. So I had a song called Big Draws. It sounds a little polished. It sounds like it could be an actual gotcha, song. Gotcha. That's him doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a song called Big Draws. Yo, some of the shit you say, <laughs> it doesn't sound real at all. Where did uh, <laughs> Lou Ratchet sounds like the illest mixtape rapper of the 2000s era? Where did that name I come appreciate from? It. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> you took it in like, damn, that's what it, that's what it sounds like. Good shit. <laughs> uh, my name was always Lou. Like my granddad started calling me Lou because I couldn't pronounce the word you. So I was like, literally, since I was a baby, I was Lou. Uh. And then it comes down down the line. I'm still Lou in the hood and to my family, all that shit. So I was on some corny shit, just clowning. And I tried to give myself a nickname. I started calling myself C Burner. So I'm going around the hood. I'm C Burner, nigga. <laughs> so eventually, my cousin, he passed. I got him tatted right here. He got killed. But he was the nigga who told me, like, bro, C Burner, he was like, that shit is lame for real. Like, that shit is like, why? <laughs> Just don't do that. And it's just like, man, no fucks with it. Like, what you He's got a voice about? of reason. Just don't do that. And uh, so he, out of nowhere, he just started calling me Ratchet. And it was just like, from that point on, I just kind of took it like the Lou and the Ratchet after he passed. It's just like, put them together, boom. That's my name. So go. Also, your grandpa was like, yo, your nickname is your speech impediment forever. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Right. This right, 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 right. Shit. It did come from, yeah. <laughs> He's just making, making fun of you and shit. I forgot about that. I love I it. I like it, though, because, like, no, it's funny Lou's though, such a harmless name. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's, like, I a happy-go-lucky type. I guess so, it's yeah. Like, hey, Louie. Like, you know what I mean? Type shit. But if I went by my real name, Corey, it's like, you're lame as fuck. You know? 
know what I'm saying? It's like you trying to do comedy. I'm Corey. Like, check out Corey's skits. This is just like, <laughs> my name's Wag. <laughs> this was talking shit about yourself all day. I'm trying to my name's Wag. I pit birds okay, Corey, I guess. Though. Corey Feldman. Mm. He's not. He's not a comedian. Okay. You know who Corey Feldman is? No. You ever seen the Goonies? No, I had a T-shirt of the Goonies, but I never seen the seen Goonies. It. What a good movie, man! Oh, man. You're missing out on childhood I'm adventure. Jealous. Shit's on Sandlot. Oh man, Please, it's so it's good. Back the Goonies the is one of the best tonight. movies of all time. Okay. Oh, bro, you're gonna fall as a as an adult watching the Goonies. Oh, I wonder how many more jokes we'll get. Okay. Right. Oh, what a good movie. Go watch the Goonies. It's great, dude. Good shit. Okay. Oh man, we got a whole list for you. Um, what the fuck are we talking about? We had a couple fan questions. Damn. I, um. So what the fuck was this about to say? Oh, Oh, yeah, you said your name sucks. No, nah, it's normal. What the fuck, Corey? Corey? I, man, if I could replace that shit, I would. Matter of fact, hold on. To be honest, I did legally get my name changed to Lou Ratchet, okay? I have a social security card with, with name. the name oh, Lou Ratchet, shit. but I tried to get it like that's through the federal government. I tried to change it also through the state, and it was a lot of bullshit. Basically, PA ain't want me with uh, They wouldn't help me with my shit. But federally, I do have the name Lou Ratchet. I got a social security card and everything. Hey, man, Corey's fine. <laughs> yeah, what <laughs> made, what made you want to take it that far? You just because I don't like my like. What would you have picked as your name? I know if you're a kid, you hated. Like, why can't my name be Brian? What was the name it you wanted? Would be different. It would just be something different. I remember it don't when even I was a kid. gotta be namey. It could be like Crash. Namey, like a, <laughs> yeah, like a namey name, or like a Chris yeah. or Crash Bandicoot. Aaron. It's like no, fuck all that. Rock like just some regular shit, you know what I'm saying? Just an object, kind of. Just be different. That's 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 where my mind was going. So, all right, gravity. No, I'm see, that's different. <laughs> Yo, I got a homie. Are you? I'll say it. I got a homie that named his children wild shit. But I like that. No, I know you like it. I like it too. It's more when wild. You say than wild. You like what, what we talk. Like my homie's very, like not religious. Okay. So he named his kids like he has eleven children, right? Say Jesus. You want one? Yeah. I'll give you the coolest one first. His first name's Infinite. His middle name's One, which is the hardest name of all time. Like his legal name is Infinite One, which is That's hard. extremely hard. Yeah. But one of his children's name, you want it? Yeah. First name, God. He's a ballsy individual, the father. Yes, uh, yeah, I know, but yeah, you always go, yeah. whoa, whoa. Middle name go, all right, all right, I get it. Middle name power. Mm. <sighs> if he's an NFL player, watch out, Al Michaels. You're going to have to be power. screaming, God power, running down the field at the 10, at the 5. God no, power like that, sick. though. It's like, bro, no, it's everybody hard. had like totally unique names. That's hard. Max Powers from The Simpsons. Every time you ever say your name... Thomas, Never not met with a Thomas growing up in the ghetto of Mexicans. <laughs> hey, Thomas. Yeah, I didn't like my name either, man. Thomas Jefferson. Like, why does that? Why is that mad? People always make Thomas Jefferson. Like, it's who cares? too traditional. It's too namey. That's I get what, what, what you're saying. saying. It's like we you're, need. You're going straight need, Hollywood. Apple, Sony. Yeah, just, Sony. Just get the fuck out of here, bro. Just <laughs> Mitsubishi. It's different. All right. All right, so your grandpa named you Lou, and then you would like to be called, you know, inanimate objects. I fuck with it. I like butane. Type shit. What's your name? Butane. What's your last name? Bro, Fucking Smith. Different. If a nigga gotta go, you gotta go your whole life saying Chris. It's just like, <laughs> no, no disrespect to you watching Chris. All forty million of you. I fucks with you. All right, that's cool, man. That's cool. All right, um, I have a question. You, I saw a, uh, a video you're talking about. I also, too, dabbled in many drugs. Ooh, yeah. 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 Fun times. I saw that you was like, I used to take drugs in school. Me, too. What is your most fun ecstasy, MDMA, or Molly at school versus your worst? Best time ever? Worst time ever? Like, I should have waited for these drugs till after school because I got them, too. They're usually fun. But Best time ever was my first time <laughs> taking Molly but at school? In class, yeah. Your first time you took it in class? No, 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 no. That wasn't my, no. It was oh, my first, oh, first time, time just in using class. something that wild in class. Okay. Like, but it's like, 
By what, the time what it period? hit, bruh, what period? it was a whole fucking no, playground. No, what it's, period did you take it? Like, first oh, period, oh, second oh, period, my third bad, period. My bad, I think I took it. I think I took it at, at least a little fourth. bit. It was a little bit before lunch, I feel like. Your ball. Oh, that's good. You have two periods left. That's perfect so amount of time. It was, man, man, that shit was, like I said, playground, bro. I, I was just running through that bitch doing whatever <laughs> I wanted. And it was like, even then, I was kind of treated, bro. I was like favored by teachers, to be honest, because they was like kind of like tiptoeing around me. They thought like, like don't 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 treat him too bad because I had been through some shit. So I like got shot like coming into this year or whatever, and it's like I lost oh, a into family. that year. Yeah, I lost family member, or whatever. So everybody was kind of like I got treated with like even the principal, bro. Sometimes I get sent to the principal's office. I got caught selling weed in class. I should have got suspended or Wait, expelled. Got caught selling in class. L- literally, but look, they took they sent me to the uh, principal's office, and this is just an example. And I go, and I basically was able to, uh, no, matter of fact, I didn't even go to the principal's office, but she didn't even press the issue. It was just, they kind of like, just, like, let me skate off on that one. So, so, question. Niggas showed me love as far as the faculty, and I appreciate it. You're mid-selling sack, and you go, oh, I'm caught. It was in a book bag. Like, it, I don't want to put her name out there. So nah, I'm, I'm selling, it to, I'm I'm selling it to a friend. I got it, uh, it's in a book bag or whatever, but you can smell it though. And it's like, I'm showing her, I'm dumping it out the little package oh, I got that's in or whatever. Yeah. And she like, she like, what are y'all doing back there? And she came back and I guess I already had the, ba- uh, the bag of weed in my hand and then it was, it's over. And I'm taking a fall for this. I'm not Damn, about how to far was she? Me. She wasn't. You're a ballsy individual, man. I would make sure Bro, I'm in the back of the class. Money, no, I'm saying being the, the back, I sold Halloween class, but I'm like, I stash it in drain pipes. So nobody would ever say it's yours. I was way more ruthless. You're wi- I was say you're like, wild. Like, honest, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, shit, what are you like, doing? Yeah. Okay, so they were like, yo, you know what he went through? He could sell a little bit of weed in class. So you basically, this how did you get out of jail like free that. card? Even as far as like when the teacher, I had a teacher, I was in statistics the, the, during the Molly shit. It's <laughs> like, bro, she knew I was tripping. But she kind of just let me. I just left class and just wandered the halls, just cut up, went to other niggas' classes, just what? wild out. But she would let me do this. You're very well liked by lot, teachers too, though. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the well liked kid privilege right there. Shit. You see, we got we got privilege of oceans. You got privilege of teacher shit. Because I just got sent to <laughs> in house. <laughs> yeah, I got sent to in house suspension. In-house that's all that happened to me. Lamest, man. I should do hella rails in Saturday school. My homies. I had a white friend that was just like. He is the definition of white privilege. Like, me getting in trouble? No. 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 Flush it down the toilet. Where is it at? Have a good day. He, like, he's not. He's a commercial pilot now. Ooh, that's popping. When I was in, quick story, when I was in the senior year, we're like three weeks out of school. I took some MD, I took some ecstasy with this fool in fifth period. And I was like, damn, I took a double. He took two doubles. This fool was wild. You're white. Like, you just don't care about nothing. There's no white kids in my school. So I'm like, damn. Okay. Oh, I almost said his name. Anyway, I'm like, damn, dude. And I know his dad's a pilot. And I know he's, like, going to pilot yeah. school after 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 high school. And I'm like, oh, sixth grade. I'm that like, is like me. And I was like, I'm sweating a little bit. And I look at him like, you good? Like, what do you want to do? Smoke a joint? He goes, oh, no, I got my last pilot's test after school. I was like, what'd you say? He's like, I got to fly a plane after school. I go, you're on drugs. He goes, it's only going to be more fun. It's like, this is the man that's flying us across the country? Wow. He could be in any one of our planes. Wow. Flying us. Yes. I remember we were getting plane. You go, I hope my pilot loves life. He might be my homie on drugs. I don't know if he's doing drugs anyways more, but that's my shit. I was like, I yeah, I'm having fun. I out of pilots because I would not be able to do that. Man. Right. He was 18 years old on two double stacks flying a plane after school. That's a, that's a story that's we disgusting. need to. That's a guy we need to talk to more. Hell yeah! But Hell to yeah. what I'm saying, I used to do rails in in a Saturday school because he had white that's privilege. Insane. He would just chop them and just go like this on a notebook and pass it back the line where the big gangsters were next to me, and they'd all do drug. We'd all do coke in class. The teacher didn't care. It's Saturday school, and then we'd hotbox his car, even though you shouldn't. Didn't do that. care as in like they noticed. He didn't, just he didn't out look of up. He didn't even look up. How would you up. describe the feeling of being on coke? I'm not finna try it. I'm just saying. Oh, never do it. Yeah, that's good. Um, I don't like to encourage it because like drugs are bad and they could kill you and 
drugs now are not the same drugs as when I was younger. There are people who are ODing off of stupid shit all the time. So don't do drugs. Is the coolest thing on the in the world? Okay. I would never smoke weed again. Okay. If they're like, yo, you do rails all day, like, oh, thanks, man, <laughs> appreciate it. So why is that <sighs> shit illegal? If it if that comes from a plant, also like coke. It's just uh, there's a reason why people go from like, yo, I'm out of coke. Got any crack? Cause uh, I'm yeah, on one, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. on one, and like I would like to keep this on one going. Then you go, is it? Oh, it's cheaper than the coke I okay, have. Okay. These girls look different than the girls that do coke. These girls that do meth are a little different. But you know, we'll go to the store in those shoes. She'll, she'll give me a soda with styrofoam, and the ears are tweaker. That's how fast it happens. Damn! Mm. <laughs> I swear to God, I, I just described like that. so crazy. many people that I know's lives right now. Damn. Two of my best homies. That's exactly what happened. Ran out of coke at my Joe's house one day. He's like, I got some Chris, Nick. And I hit one. I'm like, that is disgusting. I don't ever want to do it again. And then my homie just was like, Wait, this is great. you smoked hard? No, snorted it. I smoked it before, too. It's a long story. I'm from. Wait, what did that feel like? Terrible. So it's just way different. Than the it's the it's the worst feeling ever because I know I need resp- I have responsibilities in my life. And I'm like, this, I can't function like this. So that, but that lasts longer than the powder form. Yeah. Okay. Days. It'd be on for days. God, damn. That's why, it's, mouth. that's why it's cheaper. I thought he was talking about crack. Oh no, crack doesn't last that long. Oh my bad. Okay. okay. I smoked crack before by accident, but it's not. It's not like a not a drug you should do. It's a drug that you're like, I'm done with this whole life thing. Let me just smoke some crack. Right. No, I feel it, bro. Yeah. But yeah, drugs in class. Molly, you didn't even get in trouble. You didn't get in trouble, and they're like, "Yo, let him do drugs." So you're out there frolicking <laughs> through, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, through your hallways, Something like that. and they're like, "Yo, I got to get out of jail free card." And all year they just let you do whatever you want. Pretty much, bro. It was definitely a wow. Yeah, pretty much. I so, heard your video about having the grow in your apartment. Oh, that was fun as hell, man, <laughs> were you, bro. You were trapping pretty hard, I would imagine. I love, <laughs> I love growing. I, I want to do it again, but it's just like it is. It's a, it's a whole investment with time and shit. It I, takes a lot. What if I like, told you? I have a machine out there that you can grow in and you set it and forget it and it feeds itself and waters itself and it's in like a sharper image box and it's a fully mechanical grow. What's that system. called hydroponics? No, no, no. I'll show you. Okay, and if okay. you, and if you it like, if it's serious, you could have that shit. I don't use it. I'm done with it. I don't have enough time. It's the coolest thing of all time. It's a, it's like a big water cooler, but you open it. You set the time, you, the grow. It, it grows one big ass plant inside of it, and then smell proof everything. What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh. I'll show you after. So if you <laughs> want to grow, problem. you can grow without having the time, like you said. You set it and forget it feeds itself. It waters itself. You just prune it every so often. Holy fuck! The root system comes through. We forgot about that. Why the fuck? I saw it this morning and went. God, 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 somebody needs to use this. It's gonna use Y'all this. Don't be grow. I don't have time. That's I'm, okay. Okay. But like that, I'm not here enough at the warehouse. But like, if you had that in your in your house, like, yo, every morning I water my plant, turn up the settings, look through the window, and put it back on, and you just look through it and go, oh my plant, all right, cool, put it back. It's got the sun; it mimics the sun. It's sick. I'll show you after. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to go off. No, you good. I got you. If you do want to grow, you could totally grow. Good shit. Okay. All right. So you grew in your apartment, which is. A bad start. Yeah, duplex, and it's like I, oh, I, that's different. No, but it, it was it was still like, bro, my neighbor is like literally right there, and on top of that, to be honest, I had like prejudiced neighbors, so it's like I already got like weird vibes from it when we first introduced ourselves. So it was just like I don't know, I ain't, but I ain't expect them to like be petty about it. So they just like, what do you mean petty? Well, what's one example? Was you it like us? reeking up the house? It, it was it was and I get it and I, I get where they was coming from as far as calling the landlord or shit like that but after a while it's like I started trying to cover my tracks see I don't know what it smelled like to yeah. them because I grew so immune to it my, I'm you just, stink yeah. I promise yeah. <laughs> smell. I've walked in the buildings like that's not me is it and we're staring at me <laughs> it is me but I will say I mean I fucks with the fact that they was kind of ignorant about weed because it was more so they were bitching thinking that I was smoking. It's like you didn't mm-hmm. tell the nigga that I had like a a nice sizable 
like little grow operation in there. They can like, tell a difference. Yeah, because in PA they don't they don't like that shit. So it was an old white woman and white man who he wears a checkered shirt and it glasses. Was old bro, they was young. Oh, I was just trying to describe the they perfect was young. couple. <laughs> How young is young? Like forty? At the time they was probably twenty five. Oh. Twenty six. When I meet people young that are weird or not weird that are like you should be forty years older acting like this. Don't you get scared of like, oh, my kids don't grow up like to be these people. That's my biggest fear is my right. kids growing up to be like, Scott, this guy's a douchebag. Who is that? It's my fucking Bro, kid. but that's like tight. It's right. You're just it not is tough, teaching your kids But sometimes that shit. Like, you get a bad hand, man. I've met some cool okay. people. I'm like, your kid sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and I see, you te- I see you discipline them. It's not the lack of discipline. Yeah. Your kid fucking sucks. It's on the kid. Like a Tropic <laughs> Thunder. We all don't get to pick our kids. Matthew McConaughey's looking at the picture of his son. Maybe he's all disappointed. I've seen son. Matthew McConaughey in real life. That's the only one of the only celebs I've ever seen. <laughs> Did you high five him? I've seen that nigga. No, I seen I him at the airport. Oh no, he had them paparazzi on his ass. I would have walked him and started blocking. I'm like, guys, get away from my client. And he's like, damn, you my new my new manager. I'm like, yeah, I am Matthew Ooh. McConaughey. Tropic Thunder two. Here's the script. What about uh, shrooms? Got any? Bro, I, love shrooms, shroom stories. I love shrooms i want to start off by saying like i feel like you find the answers to a lot of shit when you be tripping like it's like if you ever like ponder on anything it just i don't know like on some deep shit and it's just like why am i like this or why did this person do it just like bro sometimes you could just become one with the shroomies and next thing you know you get hella answers and just it breaks you down it just strips away all Ego is what I would say. It just brings you down to like a, yeah, it's a basic life level. And it's just mm-hmm. like you see things damn near from a external perspective. Like you can step outside yourself. Not literally, but it's just like the way that you be thinking is like, it's not so egotistical. Mm-hmm. Yo, it's a, it's when you come to LA, come hang out more. Gotcha. You're saying all the <laughs> things that I'm like, yo, that's why I want to chill. I want you to be able to think like I do, man. It's exactly what it is. We've sure, talked about it many well. times on here. It can break you down. I, I'll, I'll forget my name and I'll start saying my name and go, for what? Why is that my name? Right. I'm good on that right, name, bro. Right, I'm yeah. good. I'm good. I'm just me. The sun comes out no matter what. I'm out there in the fucking in the grass. My neighbor's staring at me like, I get it. Nice. Have you ever been so wrecked that you could see your own body? Oh, hell no. Oh, yeah. Hell no. Marty has a tolerance. It's very weird. Marty finally got high off shrooms last year. I've given him four grams. Doesn't work. Three grams doesn't work. I've floated. I've went to outer space, but this had nothing to do with shrooms. Oh, that's cool. What was it? All right. Don't don't judge me, but I overdosed on cough syrup. That's what we was doing. We didn't have lean and shit. So it's like I'm 16, 17. Oh, actual Ooh. cough syrup. Hella cough syrup. How much did you drink, Ooh. though? Smack the fuck out of me. I don't even know. A lot. Over a, a lot. bottle? Way too much. It, you, it, to the point you feel your, uh, what is that? Your liver? Or your you can kidney? feel it? Yeah, you feel it bubbling. Because you didn't <gasps> drink so much. It's like, blah, 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 blah. All right. Yeah, no, I'm real <laughs> Yeah, my organs make audible no, noises, like, bro. That's uh, how much drugs I yeah, should. Yeah, it feel okay. real warm and bubbly. But it's like, all right, between that and, and just smoking hella we like bro i literally i floated i left the couch and i, I yeah you saw you're talking like near-death experience or you're talking like a trip I just floated bro just a trip it was it was Body? enjoyable it was or just consciousness going out I of the roof felt like it was yeah just like, your head huh? yeah, yeah yeah like if you look down you would see nothing type shit it was bro it was so what happened fire. you went up there did you I contemplate went, did you talk to yourself i met my man's up there my brother nice we went up together yeah shout out my brother <laughs> big clay <laughs> Hold no. on, that was you were doing it with? Yeah, we was both smacked in a party. Oh like, wait, oh. it was the person in real life that was up there with you. We met each other. Wait, did he re- did he remember this after? Oh yeah, no, this ain't a dead person. No, this is like my actual. Like, and after yeah. he woke, he's like, "Yo, did you were you up there with me? Did you see that?" He, yeah, we talked about it, bro. It was just crazy because it's not even like to where I was on bullshit for me to say this and for him to get it that quick, bro. We was both up there. Me and my wife do the same thing you know on mushrooms. Saying? We both had the same exact trip. Go, hey, I met this guy. We go, I introduced you to some guy on my trip. I was in space though with her. All right, there you go. <laughs> we talked about it. There you go. Whoa, man, off it's cough crazy. Syrup? You're telling me I can get this feeling off of over the. But I will say, <laughs> don't do that shit. 
Don't do that. <laughs> Telling me this shit when I was a kid, I could have took off. When you say overdose, did you like end up in the hospital or you just no, had no, no, no. When I, I just said overdose because gotcha. it's technically that's what you're doing. Gotcha, you're gotcha. taking way too much. Yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. Slowing your heart rate, slowing yeah, everything yeah. down. Mm. Just I get did syrupy have an through issue the whole body. though. This is random as hell, but it's like I did OD in college. Off of. I was damn near going through a lot of shit, and I, uh, yeah, that could have been the end of me. It's damn near on some <laughs> shit, but it's like I took hella Xanax, and the Xanax I ordered, <laughs> so I got hella Xanax. Don't do that. Don't do that. But uh, yeah, I get hella Xanax, and then I grabbed hella uh, Benadryl. Mixed them? Bro. Man. It was the worst shit ever, bro. I was literally trying, I guess, or whatever. But after the fact of me doing it, bro, I bullshit y'all not. I literally lost, like, coordination. Like, kind of for months, bro. It's like, like to the point. Yeah, no, because I go to the computer lab the next day. Put it this way. Next day. I'm like still fucked up. I'm like, I so you, you wake up from it and go, okay, well, I'm still okay. Because it was like all night, I'm just tripping, bro. I'm in my room. It's just like, oh, fuck. Like, I just feel like it's over. Like, you get what I'm saying? I can't come down from this. I'm throwing up and shit. And then it's like, oh, I seen spiders crawling up the wall. You can look that up, too. That's that's some real shit. I don't know what it is, but ODing on Benadryl or some shit, there's like black spiders to be crawling up the wall. Whoa. You can look into it, bro. I bullshit you not. Um, dark magic is that so shit. So it's like, uh-huh. yeah, I, uh, going to the computer lab, finishing up some shit, like probably printing out uh, some stuff before class or something. But it's like my whole time as I'm trying to print, it's like I couldn't. My hand's like this, bro. There's a little white, like a regular white kid next to me, and I'm just like... And to just leave because bro even looking at me just like mm. what the hell is going on and it's just like i'm fucked i can't even like mm-hmm. get my shit together and it's just like i so i kind of had like little like shakiness and shit for months bro months i ain't go to the hospital or nothing but it's just like whoa i was just trying to drink as much water as possible after that trying to get it out my Did you tell anybody no nah, not to way after the fact mm. but that was definitely right and you were at like a Penn State, right? Penn like State, a real yeah, college, man. legit, yeah. right? Like, yeah. what'd you go to school for? Labor and employment relations. So basically, human resources. I've never heard boring. anybody say that before. Yeah, it's boring. I, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say I went to college for human resources. Right. Wow. It was the safest play for me. Of course, you I can thought. fall back on like I'll be a manager at Walmart. Find Everybody a needs HR, so it's just like that's kind of how I was mm-hmm. thinking. Can you imagine this motherfucker trying to trying to. <laughs> alleviate yeah. your work situation problems alright bitch this is what you're well, gonna do he has like the what your job interviewer really wants to say and video yes. <laughs> even then though that's always like inspired by my time in corporate I did get to spend like about a year or so after college like in the corporate setting so I kind of always pick fun at it like, how um, was that hated it but it's just not for me yeah. I'm not gonna say other people shouldn't do it but it's just I feel Ooh, like people that could do corporate jobs are the people that did great in Not group to sound plans. weird, bro. It make my asshole tight. Like, it's just, I feel very uncomfortable. And it's just mm-hmm. like, bro, it never, every day in the, I came in the office, I just feel like, bro, extremely anxious. And yes. just, I don't Thank belong you. here. Exactly. Bro. So regular life makes your ass loose. Whoa. By logic. I'm going to chill. I'm going to take back <laughs> what I said, but okay. I'll okay. be just shitting through life. <laughs> okay, then. Loose butt. Mud butt. No, um, I've never done corporate stuff before. Marty used to do corporate stuff. I've never. I've only watched movies where I'm like, oh, I ain't going to do that. That sounds insane. Bro, I used to like the vibes. I swore I wanted to be in the corporate world because I was inspired by shit like uh, workaholics. Those motherfuckers were anti corporate. Yeah, no, nah, but I wanted to be in the office and do like just goofy shit. I but guess. while living a, a regular life, like I wanted that polarity in my life. But it's like when you get in there, it's just like, no, this, it, it they strip. It's like you damn near get stripped of who you are. It's mm. like you end up thinking that way. You can't be yourself. Trying to talk that yeah. way, walk that way. Cause it's like, I can't go in an office right now and talk to. Those motherfuckers the way I'm talking to y'all. 
you got to switch it up. Yeah. You got to know how to, how to, how to speak. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and yeah, so that shit. It's, it's it is a cool switch. Like you say, the polarity of like, oh, and then after I'm doing skits, mm-hmm. I get it. I always imagine it like a, in the beginning of the matrix where he's like just in his mundane ass job. And I'm like, so this is yeah, what you're yeah. going to do every day. Mm-hmm. And when you die, they're going to go, damn, that was sad. Where he had an interview for his spot tomorrow for like five people. And I'm like, oh, that was all I did. That's scary. That's a scary fucking situation. I've yeah. never been in the corporate world yeah. before. It's me. Is it the smoke? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm sure was on oh, fire sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have it right here and it was going through all the holes. I'm like, that looks stupid <laughs> sick. Sorry, I got stuck all. <laughs> Look at this. Come on. Get a campfire right. under here. My bad. Um, all right, so you went to the corporate world. Do you think if you were still there, would you even try to do any, anything in entertainment? Like if that was your front running job that's paid your bills, would you still? Because it takes time. If I was still there, I would have really just been focused on climbing the corporate ladder. So I wouldn't even be. The further I was locked into that lifestyle, the less uh, likely y'all would have seen me doing entertainment or some shit like that. So I, I'd say no. If I was still there after can't even remember when I graduated. I don't know, but basically I'd have years under my belt in corporate. I don't think I would leave after that. <laughs> Did I'd you have, be stuck in a certain Was there pressure on your videos to like be successful like when you first started yeah, making yeah, them? But in a good way though. It's just kind of like I know that what I just did, I just basically threw my whole shit away. Like, I threw one life away. You know what I'm saying? I went to college, spent all four years, did all this, and it literally basically, like, throw that shit away. And it's just, but you put that, you use that pressure, and it kind of just helped me fuel mm-hmm. the YouTube, the skits, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Did your family support you through all that? At first, at first, Nobody really understood what I was doing, to be honest. Like, at least in my family, nobody understood it. And then over time, as it, as it got popping, I would say, yeah. But at first, nobody understood that shit. So you didn't have any traction once you kind of, like, parted ways with that path? Hell no. Uh, it was... Nah, bro. Because, yeah, no, 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 no. For the longest, I literally quit my job with nothing, bro. So I could go and turn... Uh, skits and shit into a full time job and I wasn't even popping so put it this way I'm at work while I'm still working I drop a video uh, it was like me doing no disrespect I think I did some white face shit no disrespect you know what I'm saying like and, and I did that uh, but it hit like it hit 1200 views Facebook whatever to me that was something though know? it's like yeah, bro I don't even do this shit you gotta it's upload like, the white okay. Facebook bro so which was that you should put on white Facebook <laughs> So I I just kept going with this shit And uh, yeah For the longest bro I had no means of income I'm I'm not making money off content I'm not like none of my shit Is monetized so what I was doing was I was doing DoorDash uh, And really I would steal One Meal a day And like it had to be a big meal So let's say Like you doing trips or whatever and in the middle of my trips, that's where I would find the time to do my skits and shit. But you're doing trips all day. You're looking for a big-ass meal. If a nigga orders something that's worth like $40 and up, oh, that's me. Your whole family trying to eat, that's me. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking this, and this can be three meals. I can uh-huh. break it down that way. Or two, whatever, and I'm straight for the day. Wait, what so do you I, mean? I was stealing one meal a day, but I'm the, I'm the driver. You know what I'm saying? And the way that I was doing it, I don't know. They probably updated the system. I didn't understand what you meant by this. Like, oh, like you're making enough money to buy a meal a day? Or what the fuck no, you say? No, no I was waiting for you to order so I can ruin your two-hour wait time. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be like, they would, and they had little measures in place to try to stop you from stealing it. So it's like, they would say, here, drop it off at the place and then take a photo of it. Yeah. I'm going to take that photo and yeah. I took the bag you right after. Back, so yeah. I did that for a long time, bro. And it's like, Luckily, right when they fired me, my shit started taking off. You got fired like, from DoorDash? Oh, yeah. They from from out. doing that? Yeah, they, they had way too many complaints. Because it's like, you got to remember, every time a nigga don't get their food, they're going to let DoorDash know. It's yeah. like, bro, like, I, my food never came. And then you're sitting there going, I swear I dropped it. Look at the picture. Yeah, but sometimes you would get, like, free meals fair and square because it'll be like, if you tell a nigga uh, you outside or something and you can't find the directions or something, 
if he takes too long, this is me still. So it's just like sometimes so I there's get an off incentive clean. to like, yo, I hope you don't come get your food. Oh, I, every time I hope. Oh my <laughs> god, I was just pizza every delivery time. driver. So every time, I'm like, you better come get this shit, bitch. I drove over here. I don't get t- paid without it. Uh, so I've never heard the uh, other side, man. <laughs> oh my god, he's mad when they show up every time. Yeah. Oh, that was me when I do moving jobs. Like, please don't fucking answer the door. Just say you moved already. <laughs> oh fuck! I already moved your whole house, <laughs> bitch. I don't know what it is about. Like, I hope all plans are canceled every day, all day, and then I'm 60. I don't want to do any of this shit. Popping. So, how long did it take till you started like getting <laughs> some real momentum? Um, <laughs> steal a door dash. <laughs> 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 I'm just imagining it. Wayne forgot to order forty dollars a month, bro. It's like it kind of just started. Oh, where your mom at? Mm-hmm. Where your mom at? And the rest was like history as far as like from a monetization point. Because up until then, I was just like really just popping in my city. And even then, it wasn't super popping. It's like they would have little lists and shit. So put it this way. They would have little lists of like the top comedians in Pittsburgh. It's like, I didn't make that fucking list. Mm-hmm. So it's like I wasn't but so popping. But then where your mom at? That blew up. And it was just like the rest was history i started getting paid and little shit like that Uh are you like channeling people when you do the characters Uh, maybe some some of the crackheads sometimes for sure sometimes it depends on what character it is sometimes i truly just black out and just start saying shit Mm -hmm. but a lot of the characters will be uh i'm just trying to think of random niggas might put a little bit of spoonie g in there might put a little bit of the nigga beef in there. Uh, just random people from my childhood. Just OG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, yeah. It seems like it. You have to. You like. There's so many little personas you kind of take on. Yeah. But it's like. They're so detailed. There's so little specifics in there. Good shit. <laughs> okay. Um, real quick. Back to. Co- oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say. You didn't. Uh, what was your? What would your top videos that you made have been? To cap off my top three, it'd be the short, quick, just f- wow joints like uh the nut ass cousin one is always one of my favorite joints. When you go, when you stay at your nut ass, or when your nut ass cousin sleep over, because that really happened. So it's like. And I've said this multiple times, like as far as that, that got to be one of my favorite skits because I don't want to put the nigga's name out there. <laughs> but it's like, all right, so look, we, we sleeping. I'm going to tell you the, the background to that joint. So we uh we in the crib or whatever. He's not from the hood. Like he stay in like a nice, nice home and shit. And I, I respect it. So it's like, but he was staying at our crib now. So he's staying in the middle of the jacks. Like, and he's not used to this shit. You can tell he's already uncomfortable. I get it. So late at night, the gunshots start going off. So, <laughs> so out of nowhere, this is like everybody's already sleeping. My mom's sleeping. My brother's sleeping. I guess it's just me. But I come out because I heard gunshots or whatever. I'm just checking, seeing everybody okay. I come out. This nigga's in the dark, like kind of like, like with a fake sword like there's no sword he's just like in his fencing head. he's he's tripping yeah but like it looked like he's fencing but he's just <laughs> he's panicking because he heard these gunshots and it's just like that's kind of <laughs> where i got the idea for and this that is your, shit. it's my this cousin. Is your cousin yeah and it's so so shit like that oh and then another part was where he he opened the fridge and drank straight out the jug of the Hawaiian punch or whatever. It's like he did this in real life, bro. And it's like, yeah, we was pissed at the nigga and it turned <laughs> into a fight type shit. Yeah, so it's just. Um, real quick though, did you ask him why he was sword fighting? Oh no, I just I seen it, peeped it, looked. He didn't even acknowledge me, but I know you felt my presence. I just kind of walked back in my room. I'm gonna just leave. <laughs> did you, you ask it. ever? Like, yo, what's up with the sword fighting? How do I ask about you ask, this? You ask, like, yo, <laughs> does your dad, do you take fencing classes? What is your what is your preferred martial arts? How do you protect yourself? What yeah. if your cousin's a badass just fucking men and fencer? You're fence right, and sword. Right. I never But asked. also, like, as a gun, yo, your cousin, I need to meet. Hmm. I how old were you? <laughs> how old were you when it happened, though? It's so interesting to me to think about probably, bro, Blair Witching in the corner just... 
I fencing. Was, I was probably 12, so he would have been like 14. Oh, he's like that. that kid. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah. that's cool, man. That's cool. <laughs> I got an uncle but that I got an uncle like funny, that too, man. man. So I get hella it. Hella funny, man. No, it's very. I I would every day I see him like what's up. I couldn't let that go. You start fencing because you hear gun battles is man. really really wild to me. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's the so most interesting right. part Was that of the like story. A PTSD like reaction. Yeah, but where's he like, at? Like, that's the reaction. But, Medieval time. He's a works at medieval times, your cousin. That's what it is. He's <laughs> yeah, he's like, just so he's sleepwalking. And, yeah, I thought that. I, I, it's, it was just awkward, bro. I didn't, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know how to help <laughs> him in that moment. It's just, I want to be there for you, bro. But what do I say? You in your zone. <laughs> <laughs> you I want to be there. I know you feel my presence. I'm gonna leave. I want to be there for you, man. Oh my god! All right. So, thank you so much, man. But for real, where, where can everybody uh, support what you're doing? You say you're back on skits. So obviously YouTube. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm on YouTube at uh, just plain old Lou Ratchet. Um, so hold on. You're quitting skits. You're basically oh. fully back into it now, right? Like, yeah. It was a pump fake. Yeah, it was just whimsically. Like, it was just, I'm just following what my heart desires, basically. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because... <clears throat> At that was a point I was like kind of skeptical of like should I hop back in even though because I said that I was going to stop it's like man I don't give a fuck I know I said that but I feel like doing it again private yeah. that shit if you really want to just press private that too, <laughs> that too. I don't want to hear the bullshit unlist but uh, oh uh, on Twitter is at Lou Ratchet uh, on IG is at Lou underscore Ratchet on Twitch is at Lou underscore or at Lou underscore RatchetLifestyle.com for the merch. There you go. RatchetLifestyle.com for the merch. Sick RIP Woo. Get you a Woo. You know what I'm saying? So He's got an RIP T of himself as one of his characters. Ballsy. Okay. That's yeah. what I'm going to take from this. Ballsy. Yeah. Putting an RIP T of yourself and you rocking it. But it's kind of deep. I, though. I, it I was just kind of like the reason I did that was. Like, for instance, it's like I've been through it and my right hand got killed and you just start seeing just this level of just like in my community. It's just we kind of celebrate death in a weird way. We treat people way, way better. After. I mean, everybody does it to a certain extent, but it's just kind of like I almost like death is glorified. And that was kind of me calling it out. So it's like I, I made the skit. It was like. How motherfuckers act before versus after somebody passed. So it's just basically like, woo. Like, who the fuck is woo? Like, you woo the light skin one. Da, da, da. Now, woo dies. And it's just like, oh, woo. Da, da, da. And it's just the whole hood. Everybody nice. Some, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody loves him. But it was just kind of, yeah, that's my way of pointing that shit out. Hey, man, you got a good meaning behind all your things. I just think it's funny that you can uh, hit so many aspects of life with goofy, fun shit. It's Pretty not sick. very often that you could, you know, I mean, you just have to be like, all right, you have to be uh, furious styles from fucking boys in the hood. Like, let's listen up, motherfucker. Right. But no, right. you can just make fun of shit and go, that sounds like my uncle. Let me hear. Oh, that's all right. I get it. Right. It's, it's, it's comedy. So yeah. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good shit. If everything goes according to plan and perfect for the next year or two, what's that look like? Hmm. I'm going to be in a, a nice fucking feature film. Mm. Like some official shit. You're ready. Like, you got the skills to do it, too. Like, the, you, the pieces got to line up. And, I mean, like, that could easily yeah. happen, I feel like. Yeah, acting. That's where it's at. Acting. Good, man. I feel like when Marty asked you that, you're like, oh, I'm just working and doing things until I know what I really want. Like, I feel like you're just building what you're doing right now right like unless you have a project i feel like you're a content creator and from right. another content creator like i'm just doing things that i like to do until like damn, damn. it's been four months damn, damn i forgot man. right and then you go damn i'm 20 oh i was 23 the other day wow like me i've been doing it for 11 years so when i look at the picture of my first time i go damn that was a long ass time ago wow i forgot about that time you know you're in high school high school you until you're 18 you're like this is everything i know yeah. everything is Mm -hmm. It's school and my friends but like, I don't even remember that motherfucker. I, I haven't showed that phone in eight years. And you start realizing like, oh, now I'm alive and now I have a, a life. Mm -hmm. About 24, 25, you start to realize like, am I being a piece of shit or am I going to have mm -hmm. some goals? Yeah. That's real, bro. Yeah. 
So good. I'm, I'm glad to see it. And Marty's been talking about you for a long ass time. Fish My homies, uh, Justin Boyd, Q, talk about you guy. They're out in Pittsburgh Fish too. Fish and uh, good shit, man. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you. So uh, Lou Ratchet, we'll, we'll put it in the description too, but Lou Ratchet on almost everything. Appreciate you. Uh, Twitch is your newest that's venture, the newest, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you think that's, is that, where do you want people to to go more? You talking about YouTube or Twitch? Like what's the thing you're going to be active on? I'm most active as always on uh shit YouTube, but you fuck with me on Twitch too if you want that. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll be tapping right back in with y'all. Appreciate. It. And uh, last thing, you have that Michael Myers thing. I wanted to get a big uh, Batman statue like that for my house. That would be tough. But do you have the fear that someone's gonna be in that bitch one day when you come home? Hell no. Oh, I'm too Mike paranoid. Mike, my nigga, I feel more comfortable with I'm him. Too around. paranoid. I feel like someone's gonna be in there waiting for me. And pop out on me. Dog. It would be a good tactic, though. If you wanted to, like, do something to me, or burglarize my crib or something. Just wait in there for hours. Yeah. Nah, man. That's just scary. Yeah. That's why I wanted to get a monster so it doesn't look like a guy. Mm. I don't want to come in the night and just, oh, yeah, it's my fucking statue. Shit. It's got a hell of holes in it. Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> um, but, yeah, the Michael Myers thing. That's the last thing I wanted to ask about. I could have asked this shit off camera. But mm. appreciate you, man. Thank you for being here. Appreciate Lou Ratchet. Marty, thank you so much. Appreciate, appreciate you guys. guys. Love, Guys, thank you so much for being here. It's been the Dope as Usual podcast. Marty, you want to hit this? Until next time, as always, have a dope ass day.